Why, hello. Hello, hello, hello. How's it going today, everybody? It's Nazan here with the Lean That Streams, and we're back today with some more Winds of Change. If you're looking, if you're looking for some big, beefy doggos who want to fight to the death, among other things, you came to the right place. Also, I think there's a, dr a Derg now, which is great. We just met him. I don't know if he's going to hang out or be part of this at all, but we're in a different, Alor I can't say the word, Alorinthia, I believe it is. We're in a different land. We're in Ulrich's home. Oh, woke up just just in time for the Leem stream and well, welcome and welcome to the land of living. Jojo, how are you doing? Uh, before we get into it, a couple of things. Uh, I did go ahead and disable Theo from doing like random replies to people's comments in chat. Now I'm going to experiment uh, with him uh, replying to specific phrases. I don't have those listed yet, but he will reply every so often to you if you say a specific thing. And he actually... No, I may not have done that, but uh, so we're going to try that out and see how it works. Uh, the other thing, oh, I'm all right. Just tired uh, AF because I had to stay up uh, because of work. Oh, no. Well, hopefully you got at least a decent amount of sleep and you're back and good and everything is great for now. Uh, no more hormones. Nope. He's still that. It's just specific phrases will trigger him. So... We'll get there. But also, if you're in the Discord, and if you're not in the Discord, why are you not in the Discord? Excuse me. Get in there. Listen, uh, only the cool kids join the conspiracy on Discord. Exactly. So I can see why you are not there. Exactly. Just uh, but now, whenever Theo does respond to a comment, it'll automatically post it into a brand new channel in the Discord. So that's cool. I thought I'd give that a try. I'm working on a bunch of things. I'm going to do them and, and launch them as I can because uh, I've been busy at work. So I'm doing the best I can to get these things out. It may be a little bit of time, but we'll get there. With all that being said, ooh, very cool. Exactly, right? Uh, with all that being said, I think we can get into the game. I got no problem with it. So let's get to these puppos shall we let's do it i think we should i think it'll be great here we go all right game time we'll get that beautiful beautiful background music very whimsical also uh if you guys remember when we were when we got onto the ship and they started playing that song that was pretty good uh don't know the name of it but it was a good song Turns out Twitch didn't care about it. YouTube did. <laughs> now, they didn't penalize me or anything, but I did get like a copyright warning from it, which was funny because like, I guess it's not a big deal. Uh, so it's not a big issue, but uh, yeah, but YouTube decided to go and flag that. Who knew? Who knew? But either way, let's get into the game. Look at my crew. Tibbs, the pool toy otter. Is that a leem that is streaming? Where? Where? If you see one, find him. Stop him. Do something. That was the wrong face. I meant to do this one, but that's okay. We'll do that instead. Actually, hold on. Let's go. There we go. <laughs> right face. I'm happy about it. If you find him, you better do something about it, Tibbs. You better do something about it. You got to catch him. You got to catch him. Get a net or something. Make it happen. We'll, uh... We'll see what we can do. Yeah, tube, YouTube is not chill. I mean, it was okay. It didn't actually, like, penalize me or anything. So I'm okay with it. Uh, like, it didn't do anything. So I guess that's okay. Worst things have happened. Let's just go with that. How do I get to load? <laughs> oh, there it goes. I thought it wasn't working, but it was. So here we are in this place. Does this work? I don't even know if this is going to work. Okay. I thought I could try something with a controller. Did work. Going to move on from that. Here we go. I haven't done this conversation, apparently. So that's good. We can go talk to Howl. 
How are you doing, Howl? Did you hear that YouTube is on the warpath against ad blockers? I'm not surprised. Um, it's a tough one because I do know, and this is, you, you, hit, you hit on a spot, Tibbs. You hit on a spot. So in my life outside of streaming, uh, I happen to work. I don't work for Google, but I work with Google a lot in there and I'm I do like technology for online advertising and things like that um and so I know quite a bit about how YouTube uh operates and they've already been kind of on a warpath for it because technically they actually run all of their ad requests in a server side fashion so uh you actually never like so it's really hard for ad blockers to sniff that out in general um, cause they can never actually see the video. So you make the algorithm. I wish if I could make the algorithm, I would be doing a hell of a lot better than I am. I would tell you that right now. So I probably wouldn't be doing this job if I could make the algorithm. Uh, but that's something they're doing. So they've been on a warpath on it, but I do know they're also doing the thing where they're, um, they're like, uh, throttling. Um, if they detect an ad blocker in your browser or whatever, then they're throttling your, your video speed or whatever, all that fun stuff. It is very Google tactics. It's how they roll, but let's go see, let's go see how, and how, 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 how are you doing, sir? How are you doing? Is Alorinthia the same? Did I say that right? I did. <gasps> I'm shocked by my ability to say words. Okay. Is it the same as it was back then? No. Okay. It is completely different. Okay. More primitive. Alarinthia existed in unison with the monarchy. It was one part of a larger whole. It was peaceful. Proud of me. Me? I'm proud of me too. I can say a word. What did he say? Something about it was peaceful. Being stuck in a constant power struggle sounds awful, but still, it has given us what we need. A strong potential ally. Draco is the result of generations of a savage cycle of growth. Yeah, but we're doing the other one, remember? We had that conversation. Howl. Every ruler stronger than the last. For almost an eternity, they have followed these laws. Draco and his army must be exceptional in their power. Okay. I don't know about that. We'll see. Ooh. How are you handling being Solus or being in Solus? Salus? Solus? Solus's body? Oh, yeah. That one guy's dad. And my old elder. Oops. We I did the other one. No sustenance. We may eat and drink with his body, but it is not necessary. If anything, we would do it for pleasure rather than to survive. Well, you should. You should. Okay, Hal, but strength doesn't mean they're a good leader. True. Also, Hal, enjoy pleasure. I can help you there. But also, a good, I don't know, piece of cheese? Maybe you'd like it. Maybe that would make you a little bit less cranky because of like the internal and ongoing pain that you're constantly in. But right? pleasure is not something we require either. Okay. So, because of that, we choose not to eat or drink. There are those who need it more than us, Monarch. Well, you could, you know, try to have some fun. You're very negative, Nancy, even though your name is Howl. So I'm going to call you Negative Howl. And uh, it's getting a little, it's wearing thin. It's wearing. We have no complaints. It seems to be others who have problems. Especially those close to Salas, like his son. Yeah, that's a little understandable, given that you're walking around in his dad's body, you know, who's dead. But we will work in that while we travel. Perhaps your forces just need time to adjust. This must be a jarring transition, to say the least. I would suspect as much, yes, that seems fair. <laughs> okay. Do you think we'll win this war and defeat the Triumvirate? We are unable to comment on this matter. Conjecture of that kind will lead nowhere constructive. We must simply increase our chances of winning and try. Okay, I accept your answer. 
Oh, we're done. Good call. Good talk. That was a great talk. What are we doing? I feel like this just goes back out here and we've already done all that. So I'm going to stay here and then I do this thing and it should take me inside. Travel to the city. Don't mind if I yes. Ooh. Okay. So exit isn't. Oh, okay. So I'm over here in town square. There's a castle, a tavern. Ooh, that'll make Ulrich happy. Because Ulrich is definitely not an alcoholic at all. Not even a little bit. As soon as we enter the town square, Ulrich motions for all of us to stay close. People run amok while others try to peddle their wares, waving us over. It almost seems like Mazeo, but the products must be different. Good. Tavern is in the same place. It's just over there, so we'll make it on time. For what? Oh, for that. For what's her name? I don't remember her name. What's her name? Somebody. Somebody. He crosses his arms and looks around at the town square. Then he rubs his arms in a way that almost hides his tattoo. So, oh, that was a part in the last episode where the guy. Was he pretending that he wasn't the person he thought he was? Oh, yeah, I won the Mountain Dew sweepstakes thing. Got me some cool socks. Nice. That is nice. That's nice. Very nice. I'm proud of you, Jojo. Happy for you. I hope you enjoy the socks. I do. All right. Uh, so was he pretending? But it's too late. I can already see the townspeople staring. Because he was, like, pretending he wasn't the Ulrich. And then said he was, like... Somebody, I don't know. It was very confusing. Ulrich was definitely hiding something from all of us. And he did say, I have to remain friendly to him regardless of what I find out, which I still find very suspicious. And I'm not sure I can stick with that. I'd hate to say he's losing our trust, but he's definitely suspicious. He is very suspicious. He's very sus. Oops. Almost out of fear, it seems the town people avoid us. Eye contact is as far as we go, leaving us lots of the room to maneuver. I guess that helps. It'd suck if they all invaded our personal bubble. Well, some people can invade my personal bubble. He's definitely done it. He's actually gay. That's his secret. Well, shit, I didn't know that. Except for the fact that he, we've bumped uglies. Maybe once or twice. Once. Definitely once. I know we did. But that doesn't make him gay. But maybe he is. Let's not waste too much time out here, all right? Okay. I think we only have a few hours until the ball begins. I'll stay here, but feel free to look around for a bit. Okay. I will. Nah. You do. You did it as friends. We did. We did it as friends. You know, he was just going through an experimental phase. He just got to a new place in a new land with his new friends. He was feeling, you know, he's been drinking uh, as per the usual. Honestly, I expected Alorinthia to be different, but it looks like I'm staring at an alternative version of Mizeo. The only thing that stands out is the architecture and the heat. The heat. It didn't change one bit when we got into the city. However, the native seems used to it, walking around with ease. Most of them weren't full, aren't fully clothed, wearing a getup to match Ulrich's. I guess my fault for expecting something different out of this place. Gotta, gotta fuck your friends, um, at least once, just to be sure. You just never know, right? You just never know. Uh, before we head to the tavern, I decided to look around for a few minutes. Maybe it would be a good idea to talk to Ulrich as well. He is acting strange. He's acting a bit sus. We're going to find out what that's about. He is my conversation. I can look around. There's tons of vases and jars full of what other product people are peddling. Fortame inspects them with curiosity that I almost can't describe. However, Ulrich is pretty quick, quick to put that curiosity to an end. Hey, cut that out. You have no idea what's in there. It could be drugs or illegal weapons. It also could be candy. How do you know unless you take a bite? And if it's drugs, you're going to tell me you don't want to see Fortame? 
a little bit loopy. I think that'd be hilarious. I would pay to see that. There are illegal weapons. That's your first. Okay. Oh, of course. You have to improvise around here. Your goal is to always be stronger than everyone else. Yep. That requires some creativity, especially in weapon design. <laughs> what kind of drugs, Ulrich? He probably knows, right? Let me just. Uh, okay, so I did turn that down. Everything seems good. Cool. The great sword even originated in Alarinthia. You don't see many people carrying them on the mainland. I was raised with it, though, so I can't use anything else. I mean, you could. Have you ever tried? Whoa, that's pretty cool. Whoa. I wonder what I can find then. Wow, that's pretty cool. I wonder what I can find then. Part of illegal, don't you understand? There are laws in place to prevent more inhumane creations. But those laws fail to reach places like the town square markets. You could touch something laced with poison or worse. Just keep your hands off of this stuff and stay close to me. Always assume that everything here is out to get you. Ulrich, you're being a little paranoid right now. Are you, uh... Is it fair to assume when you say there's drugs, you mean you because you're being very paranoid and i almost think that that could be maybe he found them already wow you make this place sound so luxurious <laughs> all right i'll do what you say for now i love fort dame's just like drugs and illegal weapons so luxurious that's what i think of when i think of luxury when i get to a luxury hotel if they don't have at least one drawer full of poison lace uh weapons and then another one filled with illegal drugs and illegal weapons as well then that is not that's two star hotel at best two stars at the most that's that conversation all right what do we got over here so we got i look through the market stalls there's a few books on display there's one about sixers so i figured i should give it a read that term has been thrown around recently, and I wanted to learn more. On Sixers. Sixers, the nickname for victims of a vicious form of punishment that has since been forbidden. Six hours is all a person can last before passing out in the harsh deserts of Alorinthia. Then, six days later, without sustenance, they pass away. Back in ancient times, this was used as a it's way harsh, to punish guys, criminals it's harsh. and make them prove their self-worth before mm -hmm. returning to society. If they could survive for an entire six days without food and water, but they what would if be they welcomed don't? back into Alorinthia's arms. Of course, the survival rate was low. Many people thought this was a skewed form of punishment, clearly rigged to kill. It was so long ago, but they were likely right. Disposing of criminals before making them serve sentences or deliver a more conventional means of justice was barbaric. At least that's what the activists said. It wasn't very long until their movement gained traction and this practice was banned. Instead, they gave criminals the chance to fight for their freedom in the Colosseum of Alorinthia. If they won, their sentence would be negated. This was seen as more fair and less rigged against them. Mm. This form of resolving conflict and fighting for rights over the ages would soon evolve into something more. Passing laws, deciding leaders, and determining fates of citizens would also go on to be placed in the hands of victors. Now, the nation rests in the hands of the strong. Yeah, that makes sense. If you're gonna do uh, some sort of, you know, meritocracy or, you know, just put people out in the desert for six hours, that'll solve all of your problems, I'm assuming. So that was that. I'm gonna go back over here. Uh, it's a book. Of, uh, nope, I don't wanna do it again. Nope, on I don't. I'm good. Nope, we're good. I found one of two books, though. There is another one. Is it over here? On top of the crates rests a book about Draco's reign. Perhaps some young Alorinthians were reading up on him before the ball. BRB heading to the store, and my phone is not happy. That's okay. Get to the store. Do your thing. Find your the stuff. Whatever it is, is you need to do. I'm all for right it. Here on Twitch for the Lemur Conservation Foundation. It definitely if paints a grim picture of the nation. Awesome Draco must be very it. strong. To learn more, reign. check out the link in chat at the Lemur Reserve. A ruler is lucky if their reign lasts even a year. However. Draku has been in power for several decades. This is definitely unheard of. 
His power is immense, and any challengers to the throne are quickly defeated in the Colosseum without effort. Every well, year, that Drake seems the ball in his castle and freely. You know what I mean? That seems a little bit citizens of full of himself. That, coupled with his strength, keeps most of his subjects happy. Many are less inclined to insurrection, and but not all of them. Fennis. Hey, look, it's Tuma Bafu. Where that guy nation, owes me money. So, if you see him, let him know. However, I'm looking for him. <laughs> Thanos, he owes me money. Of time Not you, Thanos, but Zoma Bafu. Unless you do as well, past rulers, then, have succumbed to natural causes. then, Only then, the strength of others. then I'm coming for you. He dead? Well, that's probably true by now. He is pretty old. But also, if he's dead, then his debt technically passes on to whoever I say, and I'm going to go with you. So, I'm coming for you. Coming for you! Something about Draku, I read, I heard most of it. He's powerful, I've heard. I hope he's got big old chesticles that I can look at. Uh, <laughs> for some reason. What's over here? People run around the town square, clearly on a mission. The more chaotic than Mezeo, this is definitely saying something. Valesa stands there, watching everybody intently. Come at me, bro. Okay, I will. Maybe. When you're not expecting it. Or when you are. Because if you are expecting it, that's the last place you'll expect it to come from. So therefore, you will not be expecting it. And I don't need to explain my reasoning there. It is foolproof strategy. You'll see. Is this place always so busy? Clearly! Yeah, it can even get worse. The busy hours are closer to nighttime. But not tonight, with the ball and all. With the ball and all? Did you mean to rhyme that, Ulrich? Did you mean to do that? Because uh, that was pretty good. We're going to have a good time, you and I, at the ball. We're going to have a ball at the ball. Do people live in their market stalls, like Maseo? That can't be comfortable. No, not really. They get enough business to have their own homes. It's actually the opposite here. Running a stall is a sign of wealth. So the more you work, the more money you make. See, that actually makes sense. <laughs> Don't you think? Yeah, sure. That's usually how it goes down. Uh, are you saying that doesn't happen in the other place? Yeah, but it doesn't make up for the other shortcomings. The markets are busy and unsafe. People die all the time. It's a cutthroat culture here, so you're always in danger. Always in danger. You just can't trust anybody these days. If I could choose a place to open up a shop, I'd choose Mazeo. It might be harder and less profitable, but it'd be safe. You wouldn't get caught up in other people's fights. Unless you want to. That happens here? Yes. Have you not been paying attention? All the time. It's almost unavoidable. You can't turn around without bumping into anybody here. It gets worse <laughs> the deeper you go. You like, we won't go that deep. I'm at... Hmm. Are you sure? We're going to get real deep. We're going to go super deep. You guys, we're going to go deeper than ever thought imaginable. Of course, the flowing of alcohol doesn't make things easier. People are always You'd know all about that, wouldn't you, Ulrich? Fun or a fight. You'd know you all about so that. Quiet. He'd know all about that. Because uh, Ulrich might be a bit of an alcoholic. Just going to put that out right, there. Right, right. We win. Why do so many people do with them? I mean, set up shop and put up with that. I don't know. Probably because they don't know anything else. Getting to the mainland is the last thing on their minds. Wherever you grow up, that's what's normal to you. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Does it, though? The North is normal to me, and Mazeo is weird. But I bet it'd be the other way around for Dominic. Yes. Oh, wait, Why? Oh, Valinorth. Okay, Mizeo is where. Okay, I got what she's saying. It took exactly. me a second to figure it out, but my lean brain is so big that I figured it out eventually. What else is here? Is that different? Nope. That's uh. uh shoot. We're gonna go. This, nope. Yeah. Bip, 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 no. Bip, bip, so, bip, 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 bip. We already did this. We already did this. I didn't know. I didn't know if. I didn't know. I didn't know if up here was different. That's my bad. My bad. Anyway, let's go see what Ulrich's hey. up to. 
Do you think Dracor is leading us into a trap? Yes, I do. I have no idea, but it doesn't really matter. I'm pretty sure that we can handle whatever they throw at us. But if he truly does work for Vivian, then we have some good luck. Oh, Vivian! That's right! I remember the name now. I didn't remember the name. You told me it. But now I know. We could use some of that, couldn't we? So for now, I'm going to believe Dracior, but only for now. If anything seems suspicious at the tavern, I'll tip you off. If you're... If you're doing what you normally do at taverns, I'm pretty sure you're going to be a bit distracted. Although, the prospect of a tavern brawl does sound appealing. You haven't seen true fighting until you've seen it in Alarinthia. Just thinking about it gets my blood boiling. It's been too long. Oh, baby, oh, baby. Listen, if you need to get stake off some of that steam, I'm sure we could find something to help you out. But I don't know about fighting. I haven't done... You know all that training you guys said you were going to have me do? It never happened. So... Course, I'll try my best to keep our visit a peaceful one. I don't want to end up fighting for our freedom in the Coliseum. Their methods of punishing prisoners are still pretty harsh. Good. As it should be. What did they mean by Overk of Legend? That's what I want to know. What do they mean by that? I hate to talk about this, so I'll try making it quick. Vivian obviously isn't the first person to rebel against Alarinthia's laws. The first one, at least in recorded history, was named Ulrich, like me. Was it like you, or was it you? Because I'm pretty sus of that statement. Many people followed after his ideals, including my parents. So much so that they decided to name me after him. I don't like it. That's all it is, really. My name is a silly little tribute. Okay. What? I think we've established, though, that you're pretty old, right? Like, I think he's already let that slip. And staying in one place your whole life is weird to me. I would agree with that. I've, well, I've lived in one state most of my life, but I have traveled around and to different places before, so I guess that makes sense. Um, I'm pretty settled in now. I don't think I'm going anywhere for a while. So, you know, you, you change. Things happen in life. Things change. But uh, I take it you don't. Have you lived in a lot of different places? Is that the thing, Thanos? Are you, uh, you're pretty mobile? You're a, a mobile, mobile person? Tell me all about it. I want to know more. My name is a uh, silly little tribute. I guess it doesn't help that I also actually look like him. Or at least, all artistic and textual descriptions of him. A pretty cool coincidence, but that's all it is. Is it, though? Is it, though? Sus. Very sus. I knew this stuff would come up as soon as we got here. Just remember, you've known me long before this trip. Not Don't really. Don't judge me by the things these people say. Not really. If you think about it, Ulrich, we've only known each other for, like, a week maybe less i feel like you're overstating how long we've known each other oh wait hold on i was gonna turn this there we go we're turn that off uh how did you actually get those tattoos i'd rather not talk about that right now but i have a feeling you'll find out soon enough it's complicated and we're really short on time all right well i will find i'm gonna keep asking until you tell me Every time you turn around, be like, so, tattoos, how? You tell me, I'm going to ask again. And then you're going to be like, no, I don't want to talk about it. Be like, well, how did then the next time you're going to be taking a shit, I'm going to appear from behind the toilet and be like, tattoos, tell me the story. I want to know. Inquiring minds are wondering is what's happening. Just trust me. All right. It's okay. nothing bad. I earned these. They weren't ripped off. Let's grab a drink in the tavern and chat. Okay, let's do that. I want a drink. Oh, but before we do, I got other questions. What have you and Pro been talking about? That's pretty... That's pretty... That's pretty presumptuous of me. That's none of your business. Fine. Again, just trust me, okay? I don't Please. know. There's lots going on that you don't know. Well, I know what I don't know. Or is the phrase, I don't know what I don't know. So therefore... I can't know that. 
And so I refuse to acknowledge that I don't know it. What do you think of that? Huh? Huh? I didn't think so. That's not to say that you'll never know it. Just sit back and wait until the time is right. I promise that everything will make sense soon. Will it, though? Will it? I don't know about that. All right, let me do... Okay, what are you doing? All right, anything notable about the town square? Is there any things you want to tell me about people that you see? Other than the you tavern, see? not really. <laughs> it's just the market stalls like Mazeo. However, there's no laws in place for this stuff. What do we mean by that? There has to be something. You can buy whatever you want in Alarenthia. Then how is there illegal weapons? goods overseas. So whatever your heart desires, you can probably find. That doesn't make any sense. You literally were just telling Alessa, Valessa, that there were No, you were telling this to Fortame that there were illegal weapons. And if there's no laws, they can't be illegal. They're just weapons. So pick your words wisely. But I don't think you're the type of person to want that stuff. So if it's all the same to you, we should probably get to the tavern. I know why Remember, you're so you're keen to get to the tavern. I love valuable. that he's like, oh, we got to get to the tavern, guys. We got to get to the tavern. Not because our time is valuable, but you just want to get drunk. That's what's happening here. All right, let's go to the tavern, I guess. Where am I? How do I? Oh, yeah. Up here. Tavern time. It's time to get drank, baby. Ooh, I like this tavern. It's got a real cozy feel to it. Where's the actual bar, though? We enter the tavern and make sure to stick close together. It was packed, noisy, and the patrons seemed pretty rowdy. I make sure to stick by Ulrich in case something breaks out. It looks just like I remember it. All these years and nothing has changed. I guess there's no use trying to change perfection. You know, for somebody who talks so much shit about your homeland, you kind of put that into a weird perspective. Yes, it looks much like it did in our time as well. If memory serves, Alarinthia is home to a unique wine. Monarch, if you have a drink, we would suggest that. A unique wine? That's very, uh, again... Sus. I don't know what that means. You're going to have to tell me more... <laughs> Wow, he actually knows what he's talking about. I'm buying a few bottles to bring back to the mainland. The climate of Alarenthia affects the taste of everything. Some in a good way and some in a bad way. I won't bore you with the details, but the wine is great. Let's find Vivian and get everything started, shall we? We shall. Who's Vivian again? What does she look like? Do you know what her favorite color is? That would be a good uh, icebreaker. Does she like that wine? We all nod to one another and venture deeper into the tavern. I bet Vivian loves that wine. I bet she does. I don't know. We'll see. It's an open place with no doors. I can see right outside into the market. It makes things noisy and almost unbearably so, but I'll have to deal with it. We approach the bar. I assume Ulrich is going to ask after Vivian. I can't even see Drake Yor. I look around and notice a bunch of eyes on us. Part of me starts to wonder if this was a trap. It's a trap! Something feels odd. A man sneaks up from behind us and stands between me and Ulrich. That's weird. That's kind of weird. A little bit of a... Hello. He has a drink in his hands and he slams it down on the table. Some of it spills onto the bar. The man must be intoxicated. Hey, would you let me buy you a drink? Something tells me you're not from around here. I know a lot about this place if you need a tour guide. Another dragon? Uh-oh, we're in trouble now. Also, I have a feeling you're trying to bamboozle me. And I'm not going to fall for it. I might fall for it. I may fall for it. But what the f are you trying to do to me right now? Don't think you're going to get away with it. Before I can answer, Ulrich gently pushes them away from me. Look, we don't have time for any antics, but if you know where Vivian is, we could use some help. You're right about us being foreigners. We've come a long way. Well, you're not. You're technically an expat. 
not a foreigner. So that's different. Oh, you're looking for Vivian. Why didn't you say so? What is this face? Follow me. Look at this face. He's like, oh, Vivian. Uh-oh. 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 I think we're in for some trouble here. Uh-oh. Let's find out what it is, right? Ulrich and I stare at each other at unease. We'd rather stay here if you don't mind. Following strangers isn't the best idea. What are you, like, talking to a 12-year-old? He's like, don't follow strangers, Nazan. That's not good. You could get into trouble. If he has a van and offers you some candy, say no. Big time always say no! Okay? Because you don't want to get involved in those kinds of things. All right, all right. I'll be right back. Normally, I wouldn't do this. But I trust you. Have I seen you before? You look familiar. Yeah, he's uh, he's he's that one guy, uh, Ulrich, the legend. Maybe. No. Now please leave us be. Don't bother us again unless you have Vivian. I'll ask the barkeep in the meantime. Maybe they know. Okay. The mystery man nods and walks away from us. I doubt he'll be coming back. He was probably a scammer. Is there something about us that marks us as easy targets? Now I guess I'll start. Start what? Before we can continue, Drakior sneaks up behind us. Your manners could use some work, Ulrich. Oh, you were there the whole time? You know, you all dragons are wearing these hoods. Uh, it's really hard to see your faces. Also, your six pack starts so high up. I don't even know. That's that's weird. Also, that those look like balls, but that's okay. I'm not going to judge. I use my manners on worthwhile people. M meaning? <laughs> who, who are we? Who are we referring to, Ulrich? Who are we talking about here? Is it no one? No one's worthwhile. And Vivian isn't one of them. I saw how you just shoved him away. Oh, Vivian's a guy? Oh, no, I was so wrong. <laughs> that was Vivian? Oh, shit. Ulrich, you just fucked up, buddy. Oh, no. Listen. <gasps> Bruh. No, that's not good. We can't have that. Wait, what? Vivian is a man? That's what I said. That's not a very... That's, you know, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. I just didn't expect it. And an honorable one at that. He deserves to be treated with respect. Oopsies. Oops. Uh, well, listen. We, uh, made a mistake. And, you know, we just got a little ahead of ourselves. And we were just testing him. Really what was going on is we were testing Vivian. We knew the whole time. In our heads we were going, yep, that's the way we think it is. And uh, they were trying to confuse us by wearing a mask, much like you are right now. And because we saw that, we thought, okay, this would be a great time to test Vivian. And good luck. And the good news is, Drakior, is that Vivian passed with flying colors. I don't believe you. Most people don't. His parents chose the name. If anything, it keeps the assassins looking for the wrong person. Try and tell me you weren't looking for a female when you entered. No, he very clearly was. <laughs> That's why he said, Bevian's a guy? Ulrich shrugs. Drakeer had a point, though. Let's get this over with, then. We need to talk about securing an alliance. And then we'll do the same with Draku and take the best deal. That's not a great way to start negotiations. Vivian approaches us and stands behind, beside Drakior. You told them? I was having fun, Drakior. That's in short supply these days. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Well done. Hi. Listen, we got off on the wrong foot, and I just want to say that... Ulrich's responsible for all of it. I did nothing. They're on a strict schedule, Vivian. The ball opens up in a matter of hours. Remember, you still have a move to make. Oh yeah? What what kind of move are you looking to make? 
Right, right. A challenge at the ball. Move aside. I'll explain our plan to Ulrich. If he has any sense, he'll aid our cause. That's a pretty presumptuous statement, but okay. Drakeyord nods and steps aside. Our commander, our comrades gather around, having realized what's going on. So Vivian is a guy? Yes, we've established this, Fortame. Where were you, were you even listening? Were you even listening? And you want to be my boyfriend. Also the elder of my town, but mainly my boyfriend. You're not putting on a good show with questions like that. I guess so. But don't say that too loud. Something tells me it's not common knowledge. Clearly, none of us knew. Bunny, I know, Banoy, he's very cute. He wants to be my boyfriend. Technically, we're dating. Right now. He's dating the king, baby. Because I am the king. <laughs> Hail to the king, baby. Very smart. Helps you stay incognito. Maybe I know, right? Girl, exactly. What were you saying? We were all looking for a girl, weren't we? Helps you stay in, weren't we? Yeah, I don't know. something like that. Yeah. By the way, I'm glad this works out. We should probably talk terms with him. What is with the face? Are you happy that it's a guy? Also, I will not, I will not hold your hand and say, it'll be okay, Dominic, because you will freak out. And I understand. I know this now because I made that mistake last time. You have a nice group of comrades, Ulrich. Start by telling me about him, though. Who's him? Vivian stares at me. That was a reasonable request. Oh, me. My position besides Ulrich implied we were closer than the rest. Oh, we're closer, all right. Are you jealous, Vivian? Oh? This... Is the monarch, heir to the throne of Alestia. That's me. After we take down I'm the king. Alderit, this is his world. A crazy claim, I know. But we have proof of everything. Do we? Do we, though? Because Howell is literally the only proof we have. And I don't know if that counts as proof. More like hearsay than proof. So I think we're assuming a lot here. Vivian blinks a few times, clearly confused. I am too. I wouldn't be so worried about that. Let's continue under the assumption that I understand. Okay, that's how I operate. Day, you want my army to aid you, right? Yes, I do. Right. Exactly. Well, this is where it gets a bit weird. I want your army just as much as you want mine. Okay, my army Maybe is these five people. Conclusion? <laughs> you know what I mean? My army is literally these five people. That's it. That's all I got. Uh, but if you're down with that, we could make a deal. Go on. I'm going to Dracu's ball and challenging him. Tomorrow, I plan to be fighting for the throne. We'll do it right. One last fight in the Colosseum. One last time. I had Dracior stay at the docks to watch the new arrivals. If he found a group that looked strong enough, he'd tell me. You fit the bill. Better than anyone else. So he spied on you. Uh-oh. He heard your group talking about rebellion and a big army. Yours, when I knew by the way, the yours. Jackpot. Okay. Your target was clear. But to know you came here just for me, <laughs> that's pretty flat. Not just for you. We were going to go talk to the other guy too, so. If you help me take down Dracu in the Colosseum, I'll help you. I can offer a few hundred men and maybe more from my throne. Who knows how many people I can rally up if I take over this nation. Good point. But you don't just care about power, right? You plan to change this nation for the better. Yes. I'm temporarily back and hugs Ulrich about, or yes, HQ's Ulrich about his secret BF yet? Not yet. Not yet. But this is Vivian. We found out Vivian is a guy, which everyone was surprised about, including me. Aldo, whoa, first compliment, right? Yes. I plan to model ourselves like the mainland. 
Elections, voters, stuff like that. No more tournaments. We've lost too many amazing people to barbaric, outdated laws. Right? Vivian, I'll be honest with you here. I want to support you. But the final choice rests with the monarch. That's me. After the ball, we need to talk with Draku first and weigh out our options. That's true. Understandable. But be warned. That's when I'm making my move. If he accepts my challenge, we'll be fighting in the morning. Okay. You better hurry. That ball is known for huge lines. Uh-oh, it's line con. Everybody, we're going to line con, which is every con. Have you ever noticed that? Everyone's like, oh, this is line con. And then that's every con. Like, there's literally no con that nobody calls it, does not call it line con. Also, elevator con. That happens, too. And that just so happens to be every con. And that's just because both those things happen to be two of the most difficult parts of running a con. So, that's good to know. Ulrich looks over at Pro, and they nod to each other. Monarch, I need to tell you something. This is my homeland, and I've always wanted to change it. I have to fight alongside Vivian, even if you ally with Draku. Uh, that's not good. You would fight me? You would fight me? I mean, I wouldn't fight you. You'd probably win, but that's rough. And if Draco's terms involve destroying Vivian's insurrection, well, then I think we'll be fighting each other in the Colosseum. Remember that these are fights to the death. I have no other choice. Well, wait a minute. Fighting Ulrich? There's no way I could do that. I'll choose Ulrich as my champion then. You asshole! <laughs> That is an asshole move, and you know it, and I, you asshole. Champion? Each side gets to choose a champion to fight with them. Aside from that, they get to choose 20 to 30 fighters. Everybody that didn't make the cut for champion is an example. This means that myself, Ulrich, and my army would fight in the Colosseum. The battle ends when either the champion or the leader has fallen. Now, I know for a fact that Draku doesn't like to lose his own men. So, if I challenge him at the ball, after you ask him for his support, I bet he'll make you fight me for it. You know, use your men instead. He's predictable, but you use that to your advantage, Monarch. I hope it doesn't come down to fighting each other. But for the future of this nation, I will do what I must. This took a turn. Now let's get to that ball and see what Draku wants. This took a turn, Ulrich. You know, you really, really put me through a loop. If that was your plan all along, you could have said something on the way. I feel like that could have been said. That's something we could have talked about on the trip here. Really throwing a lot at me there, big guy. He's probably expecting you. If Drake your scoped you out, I'm betting Westy did too. Who? That's Drake who's right hand. Oh, got it. Just be careful out there. Okay, I will. I'm guessing Westy is also a dragon with a hood on because I that seems to be the I'll way be it goes. I'm my move right after he addresses his people. Make sure you're there. That happens in the throne room. Just don't make the wrong choice, Monarch. Go with me. Okay. I mean, I don't know yet, but okay. Depends on... How convincing I, this sucks because what if like what now I'm worried that we're going to go into this and Drake is going to actually be like, what's up, guys? I'm really cool, actually. And then it's going to be like really hard to do this. <laughs> he smiles before walking away with Drake in tow. So he needed us just as much as we needed him. I guess in that case, that worked in our favor. Kind of, except for like. Freaking Ulrich might kill us now, so that's good. I didn't expect Ulrich to side with Vivian, though. I thought he'd wait for my choice. Only the cool kids join the conspiracy and fight on alongside Discord. me. So I can see why you are not to there. know we could be Just enemies saying. in the Colosseum. That's terrifying. But it seems like a real possibility with each passing second. 
It makes sense for Draku to use this expendable foreigners as the supporting fighters. At the end of the day, it really only mattered who the leader and the champion were. Vivian and Ulrich. Draku and who? I guess we'd find out. We'd stay in the tavern for a while before leaving. However, our next destination was clear. The castle. Oh! Okay, Jojo, you don't have to tell me if I'm right. He's going to pick Howl, isn't he? He's totally going to pick Howl. I know he's going to pick Howl. <laughs> Hopefully, the line for the ball wasn't horribly long. Unless I don't do that. But that's fine. Let's do some of these conversations. I'm going to start with... We're going to go see what's going on with my boy over here. See what he's up to. Let's see what Savi's been up to. And then uh, get the 411 on that situation. Savi knelt before his masters with Halen and Shane behind him. Oh, that's right. He's, he's going to be judged by the triumvirate. And I'm guessing... I'm going to guess Halen might backstab him here. Halen might try and backstab him because I get that feeling that Halen is a power hungry little bastard and Shane, fuck that guy. Shane, fuck that guy so hard. Not in a good way. Uh, screw that guy. But the time had finally come to tell them what happened to Mizeo. Having Halen's support, however, meant they wouldn't learn the full truth. The general of the rebellion has fallen. Good work, Shane. You've earned our trust. We had a feeling you'd prove yourself useful. No, no, fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. But what of the seer? We notice that you don't have our blade. This displeases us. Please. Explain, Sophie. We thought it better to damage their morale. They have the blade, but they can never recover. Next time we see them, it'll be like crushing an insect. <coughs> Bullshit. Oh, sorry. Were we, uh... Sorry about that. I got something caught in my throat. My mistake. You failed your mission, Sophie. We wanted you to retrieve that blade. Now they have time to regroup. And replan. Yep. Yes, they have time, but not enough. I know where they'll be going, Masters. With your permission, I'll go and end this. Are you going to the ball too? <gasps> Is it gonna be Solvi? Maybe I'm wrong about the Howl thing. Maybe Solvi's gonna be the the bad boy, the big bad boy. I know you, Solvi, the big bad boy. You're a bad boy. I can tell just by looking at you. You got that bad boy thing going. With those eyes and your like emo haircut to the side like that. And I see you. I see you. End what should already be over. Sophie, do you realize what you've done? No, he clearly does There's not. A reason we needed that blade. He clearly does not. But you failed to retrieve it. And let the seer get away. Any silver lining you can come up with is simply not enough. Dominic's death will only fuel them with rage to use against us. He's not dead, though. Oh, spoiler alert. My bad, guys. Didn't mean to. Only if we give it time to fester. We can leave immediately. Please. Halen. Uh oh, here it comes. This is the moment of truth. The moment of truth. Is Halen gonna do the old backstabby? You know, backstabby him? Halen steps forward, nervous. Gulping, he looks at his masters. No. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Ah, you little bastard. Salvi looks shocked as Halen had promised him discretion. He grits his teeth in anger, taking deep breaths, trying to stay calm. Tell us what really happened, Halen. We need to know 
in order to plan our next move. Aren't you guys, like, kind of omnipotent? Don't you kind of know anyway? Of course, Masters. Sovi failed on purpose. He had the blade and the seer's life, but took neither. I don't know why. I regret letting him run off alone. God damn. Halen out here with the <laughs> backstabbing. Yeah, nope. You should have known. You should have seen this coming. I saw it coming. You should have seen it coming. Salvi's loud cry echoes through the triumvirate's chambers. His masters shake their heads, clearly displeased at the news. He planned to deceive you all along. In fact, he had me promise to lie as well. I did, but I plan to tell you regardless. You bastard. Halen kneels down, swearing fealty. I am unable to lie to you, masters. You gave me life, and for that I am grateful. Shane and myself can carry out the next mission. Shane, you better not say a word. At this time, Sovi is unfit for duty. It pains me to say, but it is the truth. The triumvirate pauses, thinking for a few minutes. An eerie silence fills the room before they speak again. Asavi and Halen, both kneeling, look up at their masters. Rise, Grand Inquisitor. They're probably talking to Halen, right? Savi slowly rises, his fists trembling in anger. No. I knew it! Not I'm you, calling Sophie. it! Freaking, I know what's happening. I'm one step ahead. That's why they call me the king, baby. Because I know what's going on. That's why I'm the king. And that's why you're not. And you're not even the Grand Inquisitor anymore. So that sucks. What? Whoa, what did you think was going to happen? Grand Inquisitor, please rise. Watch it be Seth. <laughs> they say it again, and Halen looks around, confused. A few moments later, he rises, standing up beside Sovi. Masters? Sovi is hereby stripped of the rank of Grand Inquisitor. Halen, taking this mantle. You will train Shane as your apprentice. We trust that you will do as we command and avoid letting us down. Yeah, you better not, you bastard backstabber. Selby takes a few steps back while Halen nods. Please, masters, I, I beg you to reconsider. We have them in our grasp. We can do this. Sophie, we would have understood the failure of your mission. But lying to us, the lack of loyalty and honesty is unacceptable. It's almost starting to seem like your allegiance lies somewhere else. It might be. Is Sophie going to turn sides? Because that would be great. I would love to see it. It doesn't! I swear! I swear! Don't swear! This is PG. Kind of. We cannot be certain that you're telling the truth. Surely you can see how that lie has damaged our trust. Halen, however, has proven to be nothing but loyal. Shane killed a key member of the Rebellion as well. Well... You come back to us with nothing to show but deception. It hurts us, and so you must be punished for your actions. Uh-oh. That's a big uh-oh. Selby's head slumps down, accepting defeat. If he wanted to win them back, he'd have to endure this punishment. Fighting was useless and would only serve to make things worse for him. Very well. I understand. But know that I will make this up to you. Until you need me again, I'll be in my chambers. He starts to walk away, but is quickly stopped by his masters. No. Uh-oh. Turning around, the look of anger is more apparent on his face. Excuse me? Your punishment must be rather severe. Without that blade, we are vulnerable. Then tell me what you plan to do. There is no pain I will not endure for you. Halen, Shane, come here. 
What are they going to do? Doing as instructed, they approach the triumvirate. They turn around, and Sovi is faced by all five of his superiors now. We no longer have any use for you, Sovi. The Inquisition has been reformed and is now stronger. We have no choice but to exile you from Baltaeus. Permanently. Uh Uh-oh. What? Uh Uh-oh. You will leave immediately. This is non-negotiable. Set in stone. Sylvie shakes his head, clearly fighting back tears. After everything I've done for you, you're going to what? Just throw me away? I mean, actually, in more, more, more so, (laughs) poor guy. I actually kind of feel bad for him. He's actually, this is more than I thought he would get. I thought he's really going through a... They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Yeah, he's having a rough day. Yes, without rain in danger, we need a strong core. You should do some sit-ups or something. We need men who can get the job done without question. This is something you seem to be incapable of, Sophie. Well, actually, you did kind of fuck up, Sophie. I'm sorry. They're, they're, there not, they're not wrong. something I can do. No, Sophie. There's nothing you can do. It's too late. Unless you march in here with that blade and the seer. Well, to put it bluntly, we never wish to see your face again. Damn. Damn. They're really, uh, they're really sticking it to poor Sylvie here. Well, that was the end of that. Very sad for uh, Sylvie. Gotta say, what's over here? There are paintings over here. I'm not sure who they're supposed to be. On closer inspection, one of them looks like Ulrich, the legendary one. I don't see it. Do you guys see it? Where? Is it that one? Does Draku not care that paintings of his enemies are out in the open? Maybe he doesn't. Maybe I'm I'm like really scared now that like Drakey Drakey is gonna be like really cool. The tavern is open, and I can see back outside. Being connected to the marketplace is a genius idea. People enter and leave like it's a normal part of their day. Yeah. Ooh, chairs. It's odd. No matter where I go, taverns are all the same. There was Peregrino, the Tavern of Mizeo, and now this. I guess no matter where you are, some things never change. I'm not sure what you mean by that. This really doesn't look anything like that. Okay, so let's talk to these two. You might have to fight Ulrich. That's pretty scary to think about, Pro. Only if the monarch sides with Draku, Valesa. There's still a pretty good chance that won't happen. I wonder who Draku will elect as his champion, though. It's gonna be... Okay, okay. I have a feeling it's one of two people. It's either going to be Howl, because then we have to choose between Howl and Ulrich. And honestly, that's a tough one, because as, as useful and awesome as Ulrich actually is, and my obvious closeness to him so far, uh, Howl definitely knows shit. And so that's a tough one from like a strategic standpoint. Howl seems like it would be pretty good. Or... We're going to see, oh, no, now he has to search for the avatar. Exactly. We're going to have to search for the avatar. So we need to find the avatar. But it's either going to be Howl or it's going to end up being Sovi, uh, who's just going to be doing that on his own, which very well could happen. Well, his army is supposed to be incredibly powerful. He must get to handpick the strongest Alorinthians. I'm sure Ola can handle it, though. At least, I hope. Unless we're on that side, because then it would be handling it would mean killing you, Valesa. So careful what you wish for. Well, Draku doesn't like to waste his men, remember? It's possible he'll elect an outsider, meaning one of us. Vivian is like an insect to him. Super easy to crush. So we'll be fighting each other in the end? 
Isn't this supposed to be a fight to the death? Yeah, did you not catch that? We had this conversation, Velissa. Exciting, isn't it? Thanks, bro. You're, you're helping. You're very much helping. No, it's not. That means one of us will die. No, I think it was all of us will die. <laughs> I think it was everyone dies, Valesa. Not exactly. Huh? The match ends if the champion or the leader falls. It'd be possible to end this with Vivian or Draku's death. The champion is just there to spice things up, I guess. Oh. Oh, I see, I see. If there see. were just the two leaders, they'd only fight each other. Having two champions ensures the fight constantly changes pace. It makes things sound more interesting, at least. You need strategy. Watching two leaders in an unending deadlock would be boring. The champions and a small army of men really shake it up. It makes sure the leaders are at the top of their game, too. Right. That's what it's all about. They have to uh, watch spectacle. every direction and constantly be ready. It serves to show us how strong they truly are. It's crazy. Draku is undefeated, but Ulrich might just stand a chance. I think you're kind of missing my point, Pro. Yeah, no, I think I think he really is. Pro, why do you know this? That's a good question. That is a very good question. Really? I don't think of Vivian and Draku as expendable. At the end of the day, one of us will die, no matter what. Even if it's one of them, it's still something I'd like to avoid. Okay, I'm going to do my best, but I don't think we're going to be able to do that, Alessa. Then it sounds like you side with Vivian, then. Draku's death would be the final death in the Colosseum. There'd be no more fights like this under his reign. I know you're right, but it's not so easy. We have to kill him just because he thinks differently? There's no way to avoid casualties, and I hate that. Well, you know, we're gonna... We're gonna have casualties. Just at the ball, and then the Colosseum after that. That's a whole separate yeah, thing. Yeah, but it's not just Alarinthia, Valesa. You could say that about this entire war in general. Sometimes it's better to look at people as means to an end. Bro, you're not helping yourself. Remember all this time in like the previous like heart to hearts and pros like, man, I really hate that people look at me like this scoundrel. And now, now he's doing this. <laughs> not helping. I can never do that. A lot of people feel the same way. Trust me. But that's probably why the triumvirate is in charge. We need to start looking at things differently if we want to win. Fair, I guess. If we have to compromise ourselves, then is it truly winning? <sighs> winning? Know, I think I need a little bit of time to myself. All right, bye. Where are you going to go? I don't know why. where you're going to go. Where are you going to go? Of course. All right, bye. See you later, Valesa. It was great talking to you. Ooh, Damik. Ooh, this is a good this is a good group right here. Boyfriend. I don't want to watch Ulrich fight in the Colosseum. If the monarch sides with Draku, then he could die. But he's prepared to die for his beliefs, Fortame. There isn't a better way to go. A true, noble end. Honestly, I didn't we already have casualties? No yeah, but he's still alive. Well, we have a lot of other people die. I don't want Domic's still alive, Ulrich though. Or watch him die. But we'll see. Oh, there is a third choice I just thought of. There is a third option. And I didn't think about it until now. What if it's Grizz? What if... Because gr mm. Grizz always really struck me as an Alarinthian type. And we did let Grizz survive. I think. I'm pretty sure I did. What if Grizz is the other Ulrich? That's confusing, but what if it's true? I'm getting into my conspiracy brain now, and I want to see if this is true. I don't want to fight against Ulrich or watch him die. It's all about respecting his wishes, Fortame. If he puts his life on the line for Alarinthia, we can't deny that. You do the same for Valinorth. In fact, you already are. Well, it's a little different. Really? Yeah, you're going to fight, like, right now. Did you not know that? We put you up against this uh, big dragon guy. We have a bet riding on this, so you better uh, better make sure you're on it. This war is just battle after battle for Tame. 
you put your life on the line back at Rebel HQ. That means you are ready to die for your beliefs. I guess you're right when you put it that way. So Ulrich isn't just fighting for Alarinthia. Remember that our army gets a boost out of this. At the end of the day, it benefits all of Alestia. And that's all that matters. Everyone's dead body in our wake. Who cares? Thanos, what's up? Back again? And you're suspicious, I see. <laughs> Coffee sip. I like that one. That one's cute. All right. What do you got for me there? But what if the person we side with loses? Well, then we're screwed. <laughs> we're totally screwed. That's what makes things difficult for Tame. Vivian is the right choice, in my opinion, but not the correct one. The correct choice is Draku. He's one. I never left. And has a huge. All right. I'm glad you're still here. And that's good. And we want to see who wins this fight. Did they just basically tell me that Draku's the right army or the right choice? I'm really curious what happens. I may have to do this one of those double saves. So far, every choice was concrete. There was no room to choose and then lose. That's not true. There are some really tough. Actually, that's true, kind of, because either they all kind of ended in a kind of a similar way. You're not wrong. And that's why you're my boyfriend. So good for me. Alarinthia is different than everything we know. I guess it makes sense that things would change once we arrived. The monarch has a tough choice to make. It's a gamble at best. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm gonna make the best choice. It shouldn't have to be that way, though. The future of a nation in our world is a gamble? That's bad news. Vivian has the right idea here, for sure. You mean abolishing Colosseum battles? Yeah. Things should be just like the rest of Alestia. If they were, then we wouldn't even be in this situation. Well, you're being a little judgy two-shoes there, Fortame. But we shouldn't change something just because we don't like it. That's what the Triumvirate did to this world. We can't be like them. Alarinthia has been fine since the dawn of time. It can continue to be fine. But didn't Howl just say it wasn't like that before? So you're wrong. Besides, Valinorth is the exact same way. Independent, with its own hierarchy and leadership. That's you, Fortame. My boyfriend is the leader of that city. I'm very proud of him. I mean, I gave him that job. Me, I did it. But I'm still proud of him. You know? It was, but I'm going to change that. As the Elder, I want unity with the other nations. I think the same would be best for Alarinthia. The Triumvirate changed this world to suit them, right? That's not what we are doing. We're liberating it, making it better. Our end goal is different, so I don't think we can be compared to them. I mean, you can. You have a point, actually. Maybe I've got the wrong idea. A flip coin does the same thing until it lands, after all. The truth is only shown after everything is said and done. I don't... I think you just said a lot of words and none of it meant anything. It's a good thing you have a cute face that I want to boop. Because otherwise I would call you out on that. But I won't. Because boop. Boop. Okay. Exactly. In that case, maybe I do side with Vivian. With Ulrich's strength, he may stand a chance. I hope the monarch is on the same page as us. Am I not standing right here? I guess maybe I'm not part of this conversation. And I just, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't be presuming that I'm standing there because that would be a weird thing to say if I'm standing right there and they're like hopefully the monarch or nation is on the same page as this and I'm like I'm right here I'm kind of on the same page but I'm also right here I guess we'll find out once we get to the ball but I wonder if Draku will request our aid and for that matter who will its champion be you <laughs> No, that would be the best choice. They should pick Fortame. That would be great. Fortame v. Ulrich, the ultimate battle. Gosh, I hope things don't get even more complicated. Not sure I could handle a web more tangled than this. Have you seen Madam Web? And if you say no, you're pretty much like everybody else. You should see the, the box office numbers. Nobody saw it. It was pretty bad. Oh, come on. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, we would have to fight Ulrich and he would murder us. Pretty sure that would be bad. All right, let's see what Ulrich's up to. Heart to heart four. 
Hell yeah. Ulrich sits at the tavern, taking large swigs of ale. Back to the drinking. We're back to it. It's hard to accept that if we sided with Draku, he'd be against us. But it's understandable as well. He really wanted to change Alorinthia. I hope that this wouldn't affect the rebellion and our unity. We can't have our key members being at arms with one another. Have a seat, Monarch. That's These me. Are on me. Okay. I don't want you filling up on Draku's handouts. Uh, well, that you're not gonna butter me up with that. You're gonna have to do better than that, big guy. I nod and take a seat beside him. I'll drink, but I want some freaking answers. His hasty alliance with Vivian, the lies about his markings and his past. If he wants my trust, then he needs to tell me everything. I feel lost. I voice those concerns to him as he drink as he as the drink he ordered arrives. Taking a large swig, I sit back and await his response, whatever it may be. Trust. This isn't about trust, Monarch. Your trust in me won't affect any of your decisions. In fact, we could win this war without any trust at all. Again, I think you said words, but I'm not sure they meant anything. Go on, though. All that matters is the desire to fight for a common cause. Did you think that these little chats we've been having were mandatory? Okay, we're getting a little fourth Wally here. Just fine without them. In fact, I'd be better off. Why? Also, it's part of the game. I couldn't. It were right there in the corner. It's it's part of the completion. You know, it's hard, Ulrich. I can't see that in the corner and go, oh no, I'm gonna ignore that. I could have done that, but then I'd be a bad gamer, and you know more than anyone that that's not gonna happen. I'm taken aback by his harsh words, but I don't let it provoke me. I simply wait. It's best if I let him get a clear head instead. I say as he's like drinking more, he's like, shot, shot. Let me get a clear head. <laughs> I'm going to clear my head really quick with this fifth shot of whiskey. That'll do it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Are you sure? You sounded pretty sincere. It's just the feelings I have for you, they complicate things. Oh, yeah, okay. Harmless fun. I know that's what we said, but look at me now. I'm scared that if I tell you everything, you'll turn your back to me. Well, you're not helping by being so secretive and also making me promise something that I don't even know about. That's weird. Spirits know everybody else did. <laughs> Look at me. Still using superstition. The spirits had no power over us. No divine plan. Nope. They told... Howell just told us that because he's apparently all of them. Every single one. Then why do I find myself still wanting to believe in them? Because he's right there. I guess maybe they gave me a he's over there drinking. Actually, he doesn't times. drink. You're the only one it's that does. Now, I'm drinking too. And knowing the truth. What do I believe in if I want to push myself forward? That's what made me want to side with Vivian, no matter what. The desire to change my nation is what drives me to action now. Boy, you really change quick. And when we're done here, it'll be the desire to change our world. That's all I've wanted my entire life. It always seems just out of reach. Whenever I think I have it, the triumvirate swoops in and takes it away. Okay, I'm still confused, because now you're making it sound like you did do this before. Not your legendary version of yourself or whatever. They tell you they'll give you what you want. They convince you that they'll make your dreams come true. Then, when they're done with you, they throw you away. Hey! Sovi and you could, like, bond over this. Could you... Jojo! I gotta get these two together to, like, commiserate. That's the plan. If I get him and Sovi in the same room and then give him some ale and I say, Guys, like, talk it out. You guys have so much in common. You, Sovi, you could talk about just that. He lets out a loud sigh. Don't ask me how I know that. I just see these stories in my head and I assume they're real. And I slumps down in his chair. I'm not sure why he's telling me all of this, but I'll still listen. Even if it's somewhat unrelated, it helps him to vent. What I'm about to tell you, I tell you in confidence. I knew Sovi. Oh! Before he became the Grand Inquisitor. Well! That's how I know so much about the Triumvirate. You. Isn't yeah, you. that Watching. perfect? I see you. If you have not hit follow, I dunno. Why not just do it? Come on. Yeah. 
I saw them take an impressionable young man and ruin him. Turn him into a tool meant to kill without a second thought. They took my friend. And after that, he was no more. Well, that's sad. I didn't know you guys were friends. And that monster we fight may look like my friend, but that man is long gone. They made sure of that. I promised myself I'd never let them do that again. Okay, well, you just told me that you have feelings for me, so I think you're failing at that front. I failed. They got to Shane, just like they got to Sovi. It's almost impossible to shake off their influence. They just have this way of convincing you. I think it's the way they talk in multiple voices at once. It's very entrancing. I continue to listen, and we take turns drinking. Soon after, a second drink comes for each of us. I believe every word. I knew there was a connection. I look back at the vision I had of Valinor's destruction. They said some things that revealed a connection between them. But I just assumed it was something rivals developed in wartime. However, to think that Sobi was once good? That's the part I find hard to believe about all of this. Yet, he spared me when he had hit my life in his hands. Well, that's one of the things I had to tell you. It was a long time ago, but it still happened. I won't let it get in the way of my performance. Okay, I'll believe you when I see you. I thought maybe I could win him back. Oh. You know, maybe he could change and redeem himself. But I haven't thought that in a long time. Now I want to kill him. I get the feeling that there's going to be some conflict right there. For everything We're getting that red alert sound, you know, that like... To us. Yeah, there's it's going to go bad. Redemption eludes you, and he's past that. I guess this leads into the second thing I wanted to tell you, Monarch. Okay, this is getting heavy there, big guy. Back in the desert, I told you about how I got these markings. Then Drakior said I ripped them off from the ancient Elerinthians. I wish that was the truth. I uh-huh, them, uh-huh, go on. But it's not the truth at all. All right, I want to hear the other... What's the... What is the truth? I always tell people that I'm older than they think. But I only say that to hide how old I really am. It's not a lie. It's more like an omission. No, that's flat out a lie. Like, if you're like, I'm old, but not that old, wink, wink, wonk, wonk, then that, that's pretty much a lie. He rests his hand, or head in his hands, a second glass now empty. Oh, god damn. Okay, he's going for I'm it. I'm old enough to have earned these markings the right way. There. I said it. I don't care if you believe me or not. I finally said it. I'm older than any of you could have possibly imagined. Very, very old. How? How does this work? I'm so confused. I'm so confused right now. He's claiming to be a thousands of years old. As far as I knew, the laws that led the led to those markings were banned long ago. But not only that, he also used to work with Savi. I'd say he's our mortal enemy. Go ahead. Tell me you don't believe me. So far, nobody else has. <laughs> they say it's impossible. And soon after that, they say nothing to me at all. <laughs> oh, no. That's like the worst way to go. I was like, oh, yeah, I believe you. You know, I prefer older men. Thousands of years. <laughs> the more thousands, the better. You know what I mean? The more thousands of years, the more... I prefer you. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> Just, I prefer older men. Not a big deal. You know, what's a thousand years or so? Or more? Nothing doesn't change nothing. <laughs> you can never turn off that charm. Huh? Nope. That's me. Well, Can't do case, it. I'm glad you believe me. Most people don't. There's something different about you though, so I took a leap of faith. Bam. Nice leap. You jump very good. Very hard, as Thank I you, believe. Monarch. I really mean it. There's more to the story, but that's all we have time for. It's just the basics. Stuff you'll need to know moving forward. Great. I'm glad that I get to know you and your thousands of years. The barkeep comes up and asks us if we want another drink. Ulrich shakes his head, sending him off on his way, and puts some money down. My treat, remember? 
Now let's get going to that ball. Tonight we change history. I'm gonna go have a ball at the ball. That's my plan. Ulrich's loyalty scene will be available when you return to the mainland. Oh baby, oh baby, I get loyalty scenes. The game will notify you when you are when the loyalty scenes have been unlocked. When they have been, you can view them by going to the war table. That's everything, I believe. Alrighty, what's next then? I guess I gotta go to the uh, ball. Yeah, the castle. Alright guys, it's party time. Are you ready to party it up? I'm ready to party it up. We're gonna get out there and we're gonna have us a big old party time. I don't know when this thing starts. Two hours later. But we'll just have to figure out when that happens and then we're just gonna get in there and start getting down with our bad selves. That's our plan. So if you guys are ready, you better have your Sunday best on, maybe your dancing shoes. We're gonna get out there and make this happen. So let's go, baby, let's go. Yes, I will. Ooh. There's a lot here. Castle front, ballroom, private room, the throne room. There's so much going on here. I guess we'll go to the castle front. We enter the castle gates, and to my surprise, I see trees like back at home. There's grass, too, almost as green as the grass back in Valinorth. I have no idea how Draku got this here, but it sure wasn't cheap. Wow, this is incredible! I know you said he was rich, but this is crazy. I've never seen such a fancy place. Not in my entire life. Well, you know, I aim to please. And I found this on Travelocity, and I was like, this is the perfect vacation spot. Valesa's is going to love it. Damik steps forward, clearly amazed as well. So this is where Draku lives. Hmm. It seems a bit excessive, don't you think? I prefer our tunnels. A lot more secretive. That's kind of a weird thing to say because like you're telling me if you had a choice between like a house and caves, you would be like tunnels for me, baby. Alarinthia is all about showcasing your power. Most rulers add a wing or two to the castle during their reign. It's only going to get bigger and bigger with each passing year. Oh yeah. I know how that can be. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Unless of uh course Vivian takes over. He's not fixated on that kind of stuff. Yeah. I can't imagine it getting much bigger, to be honest. Uh, what does one ruler need to do with all that space? That's a good question. Because, like, that's my thing with, like, you know, everybody like everybody would like to have a bigger house or, like, a bigger apartment. And I sit there and I go, I think the size of my house is fine because then I got to clean it. If I get more space, I got to do more. I got to get more furniture. I got to do all this other stuff. I got to clean it more. It just feels like a big pain in the ass. I'm with Damik on this one. Well, he has a large army as well. Larger than Vivian's. But don't let that sway us. I think you've seen enough to know that this place needs changing. I mean, in fairness, we haven't seen that much. So I'm not really sure if that's true. Right, right, of course. So what, do we just march right in? I don't see any guards or security. I look around and he's right. I just see a lot of party goers. They're all sipping some sort of alcohol and they look at peace. I suppose this is one way to stop the people from fighting back. I notice a large man exit the castle gates and slowly approach us. He's not carrying any new weapons, so I doubt he's some sort of or he's some sort of security. He looks Intimidating, of course, but that's about it. Is this Westy? I'll take care of this just like before. We can't risk slipping up in this castle. One misstep and everyone will be after us. We all step back, trusting Ulrich's word. He takes a few steps forward, meeting the mysterious man. Careful, Ulrich. I know a thousand years on those knees... You better be, uh, better be more careful. Something tells me that Draku's guard. I just know it. Westy, I presume. That's an interesting name, you know? Sure is. It's a nickname for your oh, hey. information. And you must be Ulrich. You sure stand out. 
I mean, you both kind of do because you don't have your mask up. You're basically the only one who doesn't. So I that's kind of a cute face right there. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like that. The purple, but like, the, I, you're kind of a cutie. I like you. You can join my team. We have the best group. Yes. I, we come in peace. Don't worry. We are here for the ball and Draku. Is it possible to request an audience? He's a busy man, you know. Look at that face! What a cute looking face. So am I, so don't waste our time. Can we have an audience or not? Westy sighs and crosses his arms. Uh, fine, fine, I'll let you in to see him. He's been expecting you, you know. We've been keeping watch since the docks. I knew it. I could feel your eyes at the back of my head. I Just knew like it. Just like Vivian's man. Just like... You shouldn't be saying that. That's kind of a bad thing to say. Ulrich, are you trying to get everybody caught? I just returned. I see you cute dragon boy. Would date? I would too. If he wants to join our team, he can. Oh, is that... Oh, uh, that's... Mm, okay. Yeah, but we let him get to you first. It's not often an army comes here from the mainland. We wanted to hear his offer so we could top it. Ooh. And top it. Drake, wants our army as well? We're starting to become popular around here. I know, I know. It's very Don't flattering. Don't get to your head, Ulrich. You're just as disposable to him as Vivian. You just happen to be both disposable and strong. Are you saying that Vivian's not strong? I think that's pretty, uh, that's pretty judgmental because of the name. And it's not like we did that. We didn't assume that Vivian was a girl. Not even one of us. I mean, we all did, but we didn't say that. You can top me if you want to. That could maybe be arranged. I don't know. We'll see. You might want to work on your public relations skills. Uh, in fairness, Ulrich, I think you could too, but... That's fine. Look at this ball and then say that to me again. That's right, you can't. Now let's get going. You didn't really give him a chance. Ready. I'm just saying, you kind of went into the next sentence without waiting to see if he could. So that's not very fair. Okay. He walks away, leaving Ulrich to turn back to us. So it seems like everybody has use for us in this place. Vivian was probably right. Draco would use us to fight fight him. Well, that makes things easier, doesn't it? This is going to go exactly like we expected. Let's just help Vivian and get this over with. You're making a presumption. Draco has a bigger army, but Vivian has a brighter future. And that's what we are fighting for, remember? A better future. It might be a bit harder to the win. The ball is more Draco's thing. It is definitely more Draco's thing. Uh, okay, let's see what, but I'm just really scared that Draco is going to be really cool and like, it's going to be really hard to, you know, go against him. And then I, I would, I'm going to be tempted to fight Ulrich and I don't want to do that. So I'm a little scared, but we'll see. Everybody nods, agreeing with this unanimously. It makes sense since they didn't want to fight Ulrich, <laughs> but ultimately the final decision would be up to me. This seems to be going pretty well. I hope we're not walking into a trap. Well, you're my advisor, so if you think that, you should probably let me know. Like, maybe you should pull me aside and say, this could be a trap. You know, you could, you could literally be like, what's his name? Admiral Akbar, and be like, it's a trap. And I'll be like, oh, okay. How do you know that, though? So. Draco wouldn't try anything during his ball. This is about making the people happy, not scared. Let's hear him out and get this over with for good. Okay. Sure. Sounds good to me. On your mark, Monarch. On my mark. They all spread out and start looking around the area. I'm just picturing everybody just kind of like aimlessly with their hands under their chins being like, oh, that's a nice brick. I didn't notice that brick when we came in. Ooh, that patch of grass is very green. Damik was right. Everything seems to be going so well. We deserve it after what we went through. That's what I think. It's crazy to think that within a few days we'd be attacking Baltius. Maybe we might want to put the court, the cart, the cart before the horse. You wouldn't want to do that. We couldn't waste any time. We'd go right after securing this alliance. But I think back to the moment on the ship where I touched the blade. I wanted to show me our victory. 
and it showed me nothing. Those are some pretty nice trees. Real tree. Exactly. Like, that's a good rock. I've seen a good rock before, and this one, right up there with the best of them. I think if I were to say this is uh, an A-grade rock, I've definitely seen some S-tier rocks. I'm going to put this one in the A tier because it, it's got a crack right there, but it's still A grade, and that is a good rock. Um, pushing forward in spite of that, that was the definition of hope. If there was anything that would help us win this war, it was that hope. Okay, there's nothing to do here? Really? Oh, I can look around at things. What's this place for? I don't know. I don't live here. Security normally. Oh, okay. There isn't any during the ball. Anybody is just free to walk inside. Cool. Oh, okay. Is security normally heavy? Yeah, they need to fend off assassins. As a ruler here, you're constantly a target. I can't imagine living in that constant fear. Wait, what happens if a leader is assassinated? Does the killer become the new ruler of Alarunthia? No, the killer is usually given the death penalty. And then an open tournament is held to find the strongest man. It's considered cowardly to kill someone when they aren't prepared. Well, you guys have some weird ass laws. I'm just gonna oh, put that out there. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, sure. I was kind of wondering. I mean, Vivian could just easily assassinate Draco, right? But now it makes sense why they didn't go that route. I don't know about easily. That seems a little harsh, but maybe. Yeah, it would change nothing. Vivian would still need to fight. He'd stand no chance in an open tournament like that. A Colosseum battle is the only way for him to do this. Would people respect the change of Vivian won? Or would they want to fight him in the Colosseum too? And they'd probably want to fight him for a while, but a ruler can always turn down a challenge. Usually they're arrogant, so they don't do that. And it's not a change they need to respect. No matter what, Vivian is still in charge. He likely- So basically, you're large. a pussy, so die. <laughs> Basically, uh, he'd, he'd likely merge with the new monarchy. Well, probably. And that's me. So he can merge with me. He's pretty cool looking. Uh, and at that point, there's nothing they can do. History is already made. Treaties already signed. That is, if the monarch decides to side with Vivian. And you have no idea what I'm going to do. I could do whatever. You have no idea. <laughs> I am the wild card here. The king has yet to be spoken. So... It seems like an easy choice, doesn't it? Shut up! I'm right here! I guess we'll see. I'm right here! Okay, whatever. Making fun of me. Ooh, a tree. How do they get these trees to live in this weather? They look like the trees back in the mainland. They don't belong here. It must require a tremendous amount of care to ensure they stay alive. If anything, it serves to make me feel less homesick. A part of the mainland right here with me and my comrades that puts me at ease so i choose to question or choose not to question this further aside with no one pull the ultimate twist i'm like neither how do you like that and they're like really confused and they just kind of both are like okay uh well have fun at the ball and that's the end of the story can i look at this rock <gasps> i can the gates don't seem to lead directly to the castle there seems to be a long walk once you enter them. I can see the entrance to the actual castle down a paved road. It's almost like an experience to approach the, the castle. It's like a gaudy. It's a little gaudy, but I guess we just have different taste. I wonder why there are some people partying out here. Are they full inside or something? Or maybe they just wanted to get away from the noise. Either way, this indicated there was a, a ton of people at the ball. Hey, they wouldn't expect nothing less. Um, what is this? Oh, right, right, right. Don't care. Wait, nope. Return. How do I get out of this? There we go. Okay, is there anything else? The castle. The castle is massive. I've never seen anything like it. I wonder if the Triumvirate's castle will be anything like this. It's crazy to think that each ruler adds more and more to it. That gives it something like a patchwork look. Every ruler had different taste and design after all. I can't even imagine the story behind this castle. Now that's something I'd like to climb. Ulrich, what do you think about that? The, uh, for, for, for tame, uh, 
All right. Well, let's hear. I want to hear this. I'd rather you didn't. They might think you're breaking in, or even worse, coming to kill Draku. <laughs> I like he's like, I'd rather you didn't, but I'm not going to stop you. So if they arrest you and then, you know, execute you for tame, guess that's the worst that could happen. Have fun, though. Oh, maybe I'll ask him first, then. Do you think he'd give me permission? That's a weird thing to ask. Would you just go up to him in the middle? Hey, Draker, I know that we're deciding either to help you or go against you, but I was wondering if you'd let me climb your castle. Do you, is that okay? Has anybody ever asked that of you before? Has anybody ever come up to you and said, hey, I want to climb your castle, like the outside at the very top, like it's a mountain. What do you think about that? I don't think he's the giving type for Tim. He'd probably just laugh you away and call you a fool. I mean, in fairness, <laughs> that's not, that's a little bit weird of a request. Wait, really? Then what about this ball? Isn't he just giving all this stuff away? Well, yeah, but not for free. It's to win the people over, gain their allegiance. He's not doing it to be generous. He has a motive. Chair. I'll still give it a shot, though. The worst he can do is say no. Trust me, he can do far worse than that. Don't ask unless you're ready to handle it. Oh my. Well, that's good to know. Uh, pretty sure that's everything, so we're going to move on. Uh, the next place to go looks to be the throne room. Okay, then. I guess we're going to go see Draku. I'm going to go ahead and save here just in case. We may have to start a new branch at this point to see what goes down my morale is horrible i don't know what to make of that all right let's go Ooh, lovely the throne room is crowded and full of people partying normally i'd imagine this would be reserved for draku alone but right now open to everybody it's almost like a big ballroom a man sits on the throne watching the people as if he entertains them it must be Draku. I scan the room and notice Vivian in a corner. Since no one knows what he looks like, he must blend in perfectly. He must have snuck in ahead of us while we were talking back at the gates. I guess all these pieces were in place. This ball was about to get interesting. I wonder how many people were part of Vivian's insurrection. What's up, Gecko? How's the fate-defying revolution Harlem uh, adventure going? Well... Gecko, Gecko, we are about to, uh, we're at the ball. We're going to have a ball at the ball. And we're, we've been drinking, and it turns out Ulrich is thousands of years old. We're not really sure how that's a thing, but apparently he's thousands of years old. Uh, Fortame wants to climb the castle because that's not weird. And uh, we're about to meet uh, Draku, but the twist is, the big twist, the twisty twist is that Ulrich has basically decided he's siding with Vivian. And so if I side with Ulrich, or not Ulrich, but Draku, then we may have to go into fisticuffs with Ulrich. And that would be sad. Especially since, you know, I would go for the knees because they're thousands of year old knees. And he may be in the best of shape everywhere else, but his knees are probably arthritic. I'm just going to put that out there. A few moments later, Draku stands up, eyeing, <laughs> eyeing down me and my comrades. I didn't notice how tall and imposing he was until he stood up, almost a match for Ulrich. Silence. Hi. I don't know if you, you don't look as big as Ulrich, but maybe. Ulrich looking pretty good for being a thousand years old. Yeah, he's, he's you know, he's, he's keeping, uh, he's keeping in shape. I do appreciate that. Uh, silence. No, I can't. I'm a streamer, so I have to speak. It's part of the gig. I know you're the king and all, but it's kind of my job. So uh, hopefully you can, you know, uh, hey, this rabbit over here wants to climb your castle. What do you think about that? His deep voice echoes through the entire throne room and everybody stops talking. They turn to him as if out of fear and awaits his next words. But I know what they'll be. Tell him his tell him silence is gay. He might be into that, Jojo, and that's okay. Kind of hoping he is. Let's see what he, he says. He knows who we are. And with Vivian here, it's likely he's ready to make a move. We have those who would disturb the peace among us. 
guards, lock the doors. That's a little we weird. Some business to take care that's of. That's a that's a little that's that's not good. I don't like that. Why are you locking the doors? Also, this is supposed to be a party, not business time. So he claps his hands once in a commanding gesture. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ask me to dinner first, right? He's locking the doors behind us. This could get interesting. Soon after, a group of people close the throne room doors. They carry no weapons. They are disguised as party goers. Now, how should we deal with those who disturb the peace? Watching them starve in the cells doesn't do much for me anymore. Okay. Do you want me to do like a dance or something? Because I could like, I could get up there and just kind of like bust a move or whatever. Like if that makes you feel better. You know what I mean? I could just like kind of kind of get up here and just kind of, yeah, just bust a move. Boop, 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 ba dip, ba dip, boop. Beep, beep, beep. Ba -da -da -da. And then he's like, cool, that, that was pretty good. Thanks for that. Maybe give him a lap dance. I could try. I'm not sure that's what he's going for, but we could try it. Uh oh, there it is. I'm going to do that. If I give him a dance now, he might get a little bit more of a vision that he's asking for. So that that could go weirdly, but maybe well. The crowd starts shouting out a bunch of potential punishments. Draku laughs, clearly enjoying all the horrible ideas thrown his way. I say we hear them out and treat them in kind. So tell us, why did you come here today? Well, Draku, uh, <laughs> right? Well, Draku, I'm here to talk about your car's extended warranty. And my understanding is that it ran out. And so um, I thought maybe we could chat about, you know, extending your warranty uh, out into the future. Uh, all you have to do is give me your credit card information and then we can make that happen. So if you just want to start reading it out four numbers at a time, I'll write it down real quick. I take a step forward in response, but then Draku looks the other way. Fixing his view in the corner of the room, I realize he wasn't talking to me. Vivian. Oh, oh, that's a big. That's not good. Oh, everybody looks towards the corner and Vivian scoffs. Moving forward, he stands in the center of the room. Draco. OK, that was pretty dark right there. That's no good. It is not good. I like that, Draco. You come here on my day of celebration to challenge me. It is an insult to both me and all of these proud Alarinthians. Looking deep into our core, you say we're not good enough. We honor the traditions of the ancients as we should. Without them, we wouldn't be here today. You want to tear us apart. You want to create a nation that's weak just like the mainland. Okay, I happen to be the king of that mainland, so listen, I don't appreciate the insinuation. Standing right here, sir. Uh, Vivian, you gotta be a little bit more subtle. Also, you should say my name like that. Seriously. He's like, Jojo. Except he's like a little bit more aggressive about it, right? Jojo. I don't know, it was kind of like that. No, you've got it all wrong. Lack of strength is not a weakness. The unity of the mainland, their Ew. shared ideals, that's <laughs> true strength. You stand here well, alone. Well, well, victim to what your do we have here? Squabbling. A little sprinkle of oh woe in the chat? Peha has someone's feeling frisky today. <laughs> What's next? A little oo woo to sweeten the deal. Oh, Wait. I gotta go. Oh my jam. Okay, I'm gonna go see it. It's in the the Discord. Did it post it? I'll uh, say, hold on. Did it do it? It did! It's in there! It's in the Theo quotes thing. It posted it. That worked great. I'm happy about that. Yay! Maybe there's a there there is Theo. Maybe there is. Oh, maybe there is. Oh, baby. Yay, it worked. I'm so happy about that. Okay, so if you haven't noticed in the Discord chat, and if you're not in there and you haven't joined our Discord, feel free to do so. Because uh you can, and it's uh right over there. Listen, I've added cool it so anytime the Theo does Discord. a quote like that, so, it will post it you are not in the uh, in Just the chat. Saying. You can always commemorate some of his feistier and sometimes spicier comments 
and they will always be there the just for you. Is proud to support an ongoing donation not these, though, right not the announcement for the Wimmer Conservation Foundation. If you want to support the stream in an awesome way and can afford it, check it out. To learn work? more, check out the oh, link in is. chat at the Lima Reserve. Whoa, it's there. I know, right? Preserving Theo's shenanigans. I did it. It will be there until the end of time and or Discord, whichever comes first. Vivian takes a few steps forward towards the throne with intense passion. I can tell that this is something he's really with he's really fight with his life for. We yield to no one while they are docile slaves of the triumvirate. They crush the mainland. Okay, again. Their heel, who ask no questions. I'm right here. Alorinthia is a free land. We make our own choices and we hold the power. Right here. Okay, so far he's not that cool, so I'm like not feeling that bad about the choice I have to make. Uh, we'll see though. Pro pushes me aside and steps forward, standing beside Vivian. Ulrich reaches out to stop him, but he's not quick enough. Then help us gain our freedom! Is this a bad idea? Pro, did you step out of line? Bro, you better not be doing this. Don't be messing this up. All eyes are diverted our way, and then Vivian seems surprised. Hmm. We've come here seeking an alliance. We're not all mindless slaves, you know? An alliance? And what can you offer me? You look as if I could crush you with one hand. He's not that small. Pro's not that small. I mean, you might be big and dragon-like and also fuzzy. You're fuzzier than most other dragons here. I'm just putting that out there. I like I like a little bit of fuzzy on my dragon. So that sounded worse than I meant it to, but I do. I kind of like fuzzy dragons. I think they're cute and I think that's better. But he's also got like these ears that make him seem like kind of aquatic in a way. Damn it, Pro, you're like the third traitor in this game. He's not really traitoring yet. I'm stronger than you think. We all are. We grew up alone on the streets of Mazeo. If we weren't strong, we'd be long dead by now. True. Or maybe not so much. We'll see. You on the streets of Mazeo? My apologies. That is quite respectable. You must be part of the Monarch's crew. That's me. I'm the Monarch. I know you've been waiting to find me. I forgot my clothes or someone took them from me, but I hope you're okay with that. He's got that frilled lizard look. He does. He's very, he's, he is pretty cute for a ruthless dictator, right? So yes. that's good. And we've come to seek your aid. You keep talking about how strong you are and help us take down those who claim godhood. Oh, you get a betrayal. You get a betrayal. You get a betrayal. We'll see. We'll see. We will see. And you get a betrayal. And it's like Oprah being like, betrayal. And you get one. Look under your seat. There's one for $250 of betrayal. Worth of betrayal. It's like a coupon for betrayal or $250. Whichever you choose. It could be either one. Everyone watches in awe as this turns into a standoff. It was me. I took them to Draku. That's how hard the core Mizeo is. It's very mizeo -esque. And what do I get in return? Pro, you get pro. You know you want him. You can have pro. Everyone gets a betrayal. Pro steps forward, confidence radiating, it, radiating from the way he moves. I will be your champion and offer some of our forces. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Vivian's pathetic insurrection. Allow us this chance to prove our strength as worthy allies. This is a trick. This whole thing, that's what Pro and freaking Ulrich were talking about because uh, otherwise this is, this is a betrayal and I don't like it. And also, I'm the king, baby. You do what I say because I'm the king. But I'm guessing this is like a ruse. They're trying to trick him and we'll see how this goes. He kneels down, offering his loyalty to Draco. I mean... Look how cute pro. I mean, yo pro, we never agreed to that. Let me let like like let me take your our forces. Yeah. What is he doing? He's playing right into Draco's hand. Westy told us that Draco needed our army. He's only playing dumb. Draco steps down the stairs leading to his throne. He stay he strays or he stays far from Vivian and Pro. 
but they're now level. What an unconventional turn of events. Vivian, you were seeking a challenge, yes? But where... Yes, at the break of dawn. I will allow you your final night of revelry. Hey, that's pretty nice of you. I like that you're uh, being pretty awesome about this. And who will fight as your champion? Elric. Why'd you say it like that? Like, Ulrich. He motions back towards Ulrich, who steps forward. Standing besides Vivian, his loyal loyalty and stance is clear. I see. No, yeah, you should. Unless you can't. But you seem to have eyes, so I agree with you. Draku eyes, pro, up and down. And what do they call you? Pro. They call me Pro, Your Excellence. It would be my honor to fight with you in the Colosseum. I offer my life and the life of our forces to your cause. But uh, I step forward, ready to object the events, but Draco speaks first. Pro Bono, he's doing it. <laughs> True. Pro, his name is now Pro Bono. Oh, God. Pretty good one there. I like it. I accept your offer, Pro. Vivian isn't worth using my own men, but you lack the authority to make this pledge. I'm going to call Traitor now, just like uh, the one clone. That one clone. Which one? Because I did watch... Am I caught up on the Bad Batch? I think I am. Because I'm guessing that's what you're talking about. Did I? I feel like I did. I feel like I did watch the most recent one. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. We'll see. He looked straight at me, eyeing the blade on my back. That decision lies with the monarch. That's me. Help me defeat Vivian, and I will offer you my might. Go against me, and I cannot guarantee your survival. Well, shit. This is this is bad. This is all happening so fast, but I don't know what Draku's plan. He wants us to fight this battle for him. I don't even know if he's trustworthy. But Pro... In his haste, put me in an almost put me in an almost impossible position to manage. If I sided with Vivian and Ulrich, we'd have to fight Pro and Draku. Draku would have our forces as backup, while Vivian would have his. This was a fight to the death, so mages major losses seemed unavoidable. And oh God, I can make a reference later. Good, 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 good. This battle would likely happen regardless of my support. So not picking a side would only harm our cause in the long run. But choosing Pro over Ulrich or vice versa could hurt our bond. I closed my eyes and clenched my fists together. I needed to stop thinking about this personally. People would die either way. This is war. It's so unavoidable. So the real question is, what kind of future do I want for Alarinthia? Do I want Draku to remain in power and for things to remain unchanged? Or do I want Vivian to overthrow the nation and ally Alarinthia with the mainland? No. I need to detach myself even further. No Pro. No Ulrich. No Draku. No Vivian. Just Alarinthia. That's all. Monarch. What is your decree? I don't fight know. With me and prove yourself worthy of my help. I don't fight know. With Vivian against thousands of years of tradition. Only war. Oh God. Okay, hold on. Put that in the empty slot. Save. Okay, guys, we have to make a decision. We have to make a decision. We have to make a decision. Uh, what do you guys think? What's on your minds? What are you guys thinking of? What's 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 going through your brainy parts right now? Because, uh, flip a coin, <laughs> GG. I don't know. That feels like, uh, I don't know about that. Okay. Uh, this is a good, this is hard. Okay. So, um, oof, this is hard. Okay.
If you guys have a preference, channel channel your wily leem instincts. Hmm, or be cool and flip a lens cap. I could do that. I don't know if it would work that well, but um I I think I feel like okay, here's here's my thinking. I do think I I want to go with Vivian and if I had to make a guess I feel like Pro and and Ulrich were planning this from the start. And I think they they planned this system and I feel like Pro cuz Pro when he's talking to Valesa was basically like, "Hey, you know, there's another way this whole thing could go down, right? Oh my god, that'd be so fun. What's your decision?" pulls out a coin and just says, "Heads, Vivians, I should do that." And everyone would look at you like what the fuck? Like, that's how you make decisions. I'm like, that's how I do it. Um, but here's my thinking. I'm probably going to go with Vivian. The reason is, is because pro kind of wanted us to do that. And he kind of was like leading Valesa into that thought process because pro was basically like, well, listen, even if like Ulrich has to fight on the other side, there's other ways this could go down. And then he pulls this shit. That also sort of lines with how you choose Forte over Lessa to change up tradition. Kind of does. It kind of does. I don't know how I feel about like, I don't want to be like the kind of guy who goes in and says, you must do the things that I like. But I feel like, obviously, I think Draco is kind of a dick. Uh, he's kind of coming off that way. Like, I don't necessarily want to change their society just on my whim. But I feel like uh, a United Kingdom is probably a good idea. But also, I'm I'm kind of... You must follow our tradition. I hate that. I'm not a big fan of that, like in reality. But here's my thinking. Okay, 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 okay. So what they're going to try and do here is make it seem like I'm choosing between the life of Ulrich and the life of Pro. But I have a thought that Pro put himself in this position and it's based on the conversation he had with Valesa when we were at the tavern, right? And so he was basically saying like, Oh yeah, too bad there isn't a Fallout New Vegas way. Yes, man. There might be. That's what I'm saying, Gecko, is that I think Pro is doing this on purpose. I think he's trying to fool him. So I'm gonna go Vivian. I also created a safe spot, but I'm gonna go Vivian. Consult my advisor? I guess I could do that. Well, our main goal is changing the world, right? We want a better future for everybody, not just us. It stands to reason that we should change Alarinthia. But Vivian can't offer as much power as Draco can, and for that matter, I don't want Pro or Ulric to die. This is all so complicated. I'm not sure what to do. Should probably do that. I'm going to give it a go. Our final attack will be harder if we use Vivian's forces. That is, if Vivian and Ulrich can take down Draku. He's never lost the Colosseum battle, remember? Oh yeah, if this goes badly for me. I guess it depends on what we want. An easier time during our assault on Balteus, or a change Alarinthia at our forces' expense. There's no wrong choice here, Monarch. Take your time. There might do be. what your heart tells you. There might be. Our end goal and our purpose will remain the same. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go. Mm. I'm having some second thoughts here. Mm. 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 I don't know. Like, okay. So. Mm. Uh Man, I mm. I don't know. Okay, I think I'm going to go with Vivian. I think I'm going to go with Vivian. I'm going to go with I'm going to stick with my thought process because I think Pro is doing this. No wrong choices, Edemic. 
<laughs> JK, I'm aligning with triumvirate. Quadruple crossed, y'all. Yeah, I totally fooled him. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm going this. Hold on. Let's start here. Yes. So we're going to start here. If it all goes really bad, maybe we reconsider, but I will do this. I take a deep breath before announcing my choice. We would help Vivian in exchange for the forces he could offer. We would defeat Draku and give this nation a new and bright future. But that meant we'd be fighting against Pro in the Coliseum. He so foolishly pledged his support, I had no idea how to react. I never expected insubordination and borderline betrayal from this. Our lives were on the line. I had to make the right choice. I'd rather live with Draku than sacrifice myself for Vivian. Ulrich has the wrong idea. What he's doing is suicide. Well, you could have said that before I made the choice. Everybody starts to part ways, but the doors remain locked. People try to open them, but Draku quickly makes them stop. None of you shall leave. I wouldn't want you running away. He claps his hand and a bunch of servants approach him. Private quarters will be arranged for those involved in the fight. Tomorrow morning, you will all be escorted to the Coliseum. For tonight, enjoy the ball. I think you'll find it quite exquisite. Great. We can all have a big old powwow in chat chest about how you are probably going to die. Maybe not. I'm kind of hoping that's the case. After that, troop morale has risen by 5%. After that, everybody goes back to enjoying the festivities. Regardless of our legion, we'd gather up in the center of the room. I never expected that chain of events would get so complicated. And Draku handled it in such calm manner, too. It almost as if he was, he was confident in his ability to win. No wrong choice. Ugh. Uncertainly. Uncertainty, confusion, and fright soon filled my mind. He played us. He provoked Pro into pledging his loyalty. And at that point... It was already too late. Pro made up his mind. Unknowingly, we'd all become pawns in the fight for Alorinthia's future. It would probably... I should probably roam about the ball until it's time to rest. I could feel out the situation and get feedback from my comrades. That would be the key to helping me sort out a, on this ongoing mess in my mind. Oh, I gotta talk to everybody. Oh, no. This is, this is gonna be... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Is he going to ask him? Like, after all that, he's going to be like, Hey, do you think it would be cool if I was hey, did the climby thing? And it's like, that is going to be weird. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Hold on. Hold on. I need to see something. So, we'll put, we'll put this here there and then this is where i could go back to if i want to okay so i went from 50 10 15 i got that was corruption i got corruption that was the corrupt move well shit all right i'm sticking with it I'm sticking with my choice. I got, I got, I got to do this one first because I want to know. Hey, um, <laughs> Draku. Oh no, oh no, here it goes. Yes. This is a really nice castle you've got here. Please don't. Please, I think anything deviates from tradition is considered corruption in this game. Got it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> don't do it, please. If you want to be my boyfriend. Don't do it. I was admiring it from the outside. Don't do it. I noticed I will break up with really you. I will little I will little I will do it. Bumpy. I Lots will of places for footholds. I will break up with you. I will I will do it right now. If you if you continue down this path, I will break up with you right now. Don't make me do it. Footholds. Don't make me do it. I love this bunny. <laughs> Don't make me do it, for Dame. Yeah, like places to rest your feet. I was actually going to ask you I, about that. Was it built that way intentionally? Clearly not. Every ruler adds to this castle in their own way. I've been in power for several decades by now. You're the only one who's ever noticed my addition. You made it that way? Does that mean you like to climb too? 
Oh, are they going to bond over this? Maybe I won't break up with them. I'm just kidding. Yes, it does. That's how I start my day. There's no workout quite like it. Okay. This Do is kind of cute. Some special equipment? I got some metallic claw-like things in Mizeo. I have no use for such things. I prefer to go it alone, without safety. It makes you think about every little move. One accident and you fall to your death. You don't need those claws. Just climb smarter. A handicap takes away your sense of achievement. I think I'll need them, actually. I'm planning to climb the Grand Tree in Valinorth. If you saw it, you'd understand the necessity. The Grand Tree. Hmm. Does it live up to its namesake? I don't know. Does it? Yeah, it does. It's probably the ultimate challenge. It overlooks the entire world, you know? Does it, though? I feel like that's an overstatement. Interesting. Very interesting. Perhaps I should pay Valinorth a visit one day. I never thought the mainland could provide me with a challenge. I love that they're bonding over this. I think this is very cute. Oh, it can. Trust me. I've been climbing my entire life. Want to hear about more fun places? I love that they're bonding over- This is adorable. I can spare some time. Yeah. Alright, you guys go talk about this. And then... I love that you guys are getting along. Leave it to Fortame to, like, go up to, like, the, you know, the mod- Like, the, the grand lord of the world of this place. Take Draku to climb the Grand Tree. I should. That would be hilarious. If he's not dead, which very well could happen. This should be interesting. Let's see what this is about. Bro, what do you think you're doing? I had a plan, and now you've ruined everything. Sorry, Ulrich. It just made sense. This is a fight to the death, right? Draku has never lost. I feel like I he's playing us. It. He's got to be playing us, right? He's totally playing everybody right now. I feel like Pro is playing everybody. Me and Dra Dragon Boyfriend, I got... Uh, I got by being autistic, maybe. <laughs> oh, that would be, that's, I mean, I think it's adorable the way they were bonding over that. That was great. Do you think Fortame's going to become like a free climber, like, you know, free, free, free climbing, uh, like purist out of, out just like Draco after a while. And then Fortame will be going around. I never use equipment. That's the easy way out. There's no respectable climber that would do the Wolverine thing. Um... I had everything under control. It's not your job to control everything. You need to get that through your thick skull. Guys, this is not the time to fight. You're going to regret this. I mean, maybe. Regret? I can live with that. It's better than dying for nothing. Draco has killed stronger Everyone men than Everyone must you. climb. It's the new tradition. I'm going to change the tradition of the world so that that's going to be my next corruption point is I'm going to make climbing the official way to get anywhere. You need to go to work. You better climb your way there. You want some water? Climb. You want to get uh, something at the 7-Eleven? You're going to have to climb to that shit. So. I don't think he's going to lose this battle. That's why I want to be on his good side. This isn't like Pro. Everything we've known about Pro up to this point is not like this. I feel like he's playing us. So you're just going to suck up to him? Get out of my sight, Pro. You're pitiful. I feel like he's playing us. All right, let's see. I have to do my rounds. Hold on, guys. Let's start with Howl, because just kiss and make out. Make it better already, right? They should just make out. That'll solve all the problems. Let's start with Hal, because I feel like Hal probably doesn't have much to... He's probably going to be like, everything sucks, and the world is about to end, and this is a weird situation we are in. <sighs> so, what do you think of everything? What are your thoughts right now? We believe you made the wrong choice, Mark. Drink okay. You to lose any fights in the Coliseum. This fight doesn't appear to be any different. Well, you know, it's a good thing I didn't listen to you then. The strength he could have offered was incredible, too. Right. But instead, you decided to choose the weaker man. I didn't even know it was a man until, like, five minutes ago. Makes no sense. Right? Well, listen. I don't listen to the smart things to do. If everybody did the smart thing, then the world... I don't know. Fuck. 
Do I seem smart to you? Jesus. Who cares about a change? How? When do you ever agree with our decisions? He never agrees with my decisions. Once, and then marched about deaths. Strength is what wins wars, not the desire for change and not hope. But don't you want it to change? Like, I feel like, I feel like you're kind of contradicting your entire existence right now. We will be exploring the castle of Unitas. The ballroom is our next stop, so we can meet there. In the meantime, enjoy this ball as much as you can. I will. Thanks for the words of encouragement. I appreciate that. Okay, bye. Uh, all right, let's go see Hope or, or a pro, I guess, and see what he has to say about this. This could be an awkward conversation. Hey, hey what are your thoughts on what just happened? What do you think? I uh, was a wise man once said, if every sausage was perfect, we wouldn't have hot dogs. True. What are your thoughts on that, pro? Are you a hot dog? <sighs> I think you sided against I me. I didn't. No, you were gonna be an idiot. Don't remember that? No. I thought we were friends, you know. Oh well, listen. You didn't have to go and do your bullshit. I didn't say pro. Go do your bullshit. Okay. This is about your bullshit, not my bullshit. So, if you want to be like that, then that's that's the way it is, pro. I will. I will remember. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna remember this. I'm going to remember it right now. I'm going to remember it this second. Because you just told me about it. It's hard to forget it that quickly. Hey, bro, you just betrayed the rebellion. When the fighting starts, I won't hold back. I just want to be on Draco's good side, you know? If he ends up winning, I still want to form an alliance. Okay. But if Vivian wins? Well, I don't know. That means either myself or Draco would be dead. I'm not going to think about that. Let's go check out the ball. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to go with you. I don't want. I don't want to go. I don't want to go with you. Okay. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to talk to you, bro. I'm mad at you. I'm mad at you, bro. Okay. I'm just. I'm just mad at you. All right. Bye. <laughs> Well, you wouldn't be dead if you sided with me. True. <laughs> Which he may be dead. Okay. <laughs> uh all right, all right, all right. I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna go see Ulrich now. We're gonna leave Fortame for last because I kinda wanna talk to him about his escapades and his bonding with Draku. Hey. Hey. What are you thinking right now? What's going on in your thick skull that Pro is talking about? I'm grateful for your support. I really am. I've always told you how much I want to change this. Place. I still feel like and there's a chance, a chance that it's all of this is part like of their dream. plan. Because we still don't know what like Ulrich and Pro were talking about in the desert. I still feel like there could be a trick going on here. I'm not a fan of what Pro did, though. I hate to say this, but I'm prepared to kill him. If I see an opening, I have to take it, Monarch. You don't have to. Fortame doesn't care about the war. He just wants to climb. And God bless him for it. God bless him. I think I need a few drinks after all of this. Truth be told, I'm still a little confused about everything. But I assume that confusion will wane when the battle starts. Okay. I'm going to go check out the rest of the castle. I'll see you around. Remember. Remember. Party responsibly. Says the alcoholic. Thank you for that, that uh, advice, Ulrich. Appreciate it. Uh, okay. Let's go see what Fortame's up to. I noticed that Valesa has nothing to say. Oh, there's things I can look at in here, too. All right. We'll do that, too. When I, it was, like, literally one thing. Maybe two. Is there more than one? I don't know if that's all the same thing. It could be. All right. Let's just go to Fortame. Hmm. Nothing clears the head like a little bit of bloodlust. I agree. Fortame! I heard a little rumor around the grapevine. I'm glad you sided with Ulrich and Vivian. It's important to change this nation for the better. I just wish Pro didn't have to open his big mouth. Hey, he's right over there. There's a very real chance that he'll die tomorrow. You don't We've seem so Ulrich worried fight. about that. I think he'll win this battle. I just hope it's Draku that falls, not Pro. Me too, but I feel like you're being very casual about this, and that's not okay. That sounds like a horrible thing to say, I know. Yeah. But we've all grown so close since we met at Peregrino. I'm scared this clash of ideals will tear our bonds apart. 
well it might this Listen, may be the cutest the cool image kids join the conspiracy of on discord his so, i've ever seen I can see why you are not there i need to get my mind Just off saying. that or i'll go crazy if you need me i'll be in the ballroom down the hall I heard they have a live band, and I love music. Great. I'll be there in just a minute, or maybe, I don't know. Didn't he lock the doors? I feel like he locked the doors. All right, I'm going to exit. Let me see what this is all about. The throne sure is impressive. I wonder what it's like to sit on one. After this war, I'm probably going to find out. Yay, me. Uh, Fortame, can you just tell me about your dragon BF? I know, right? I want to know more about your little... Your little, uh, little, little, little soiree with the leader of this world land or whatever it is we're in. Okay, so can I just go anywhere I want now? No, I can't. No, I can't go to the private room, but I can go to the ballroom. Okay, I'm going to do that. So, all right, let's go. When I enter the ballroom, I notice my comrades scattered about. Holy shit, look at this place. This is insane. They're enjoying themselves and having the time of their lives. Draku spared no expense. This was fancier than anything I've ever seen. There's a live band playing music that's pleasant to the ear. Couples sway about and dance on the dance floor, while others feast on a buffet. An open bar attracts many patrons, but Ulrich is basically scooping up everything and nobody's getting anything. And there's pretty lot of people who are kind of upset about that. But that's our Ulrich. My comrades notice me and give me smiles as they enjoy the party. I'm about to step forward. Somebody bumps into me from behind. Oh my. It was clearly on purpose to grab my attention. I quickly turn around. I hope you're prepared to fight, Monarch. You'll be among the soldiers during tomorrow's fight. Regardless of your allegiance, I'm, I'm sorry. to see your abilities. I've never fought in my entire life, so that should be good. This is news to me. Nobody, nobody gave me that fine print. Where was that? Was that in the Apple Terms of Service? Because nobody reads that, Draku. You, you have to know. Nobody reads the Apple Terms of Service. Could you imagine if you like, you're looking at your Apple, and it's like, if you get into a fight at the Coliseum in Alorinthia, you will be in one of the. You will then be signing up. Uh, I don't think the response to abusing alcohol should be, oh, that's our Ulrich. <laughs> that's how they get you. Dracanian terms of service. It's in your iPhone. It's literally one of the last ones where it's like, <laughs> if you were to sign this, then if you ever end up in Alabrinthia and you choose to challenge the leader, even if you are not the champion, you must participate as one of the warriors. Also, if you drop your phone and break the screen, you will have a six months period in which we will replace it. And that's that's like in there. It's just kind of mixed in. I think that would be great. I would be honored to know that you gave it your all. Either way, I thought it would be best to come meet you here. You're a guest in my castle, not a prisoner, as it may have seemed. You're welcome. Also, are you going climbing in the morning with Fortame? Because he's kind of my boyfriend. So like, you know, don't be too, too, too crazy about it. All right. I might get a little jealous. I'm just saying. It doesn't happen often, but it might happen. You better watch yourself. You better watch yourself. Unless you want to share. Uh, this shovel was groundbreak. The groundbreak was a groundbreaking invitation. Invention. The shovel was a groundbreaking invention. You're right. It was. I agree with you. That is good. I think that's great. It was the most groundbreaking thing we could all and i'm only there it is boom i had to find that it took me a long time that's why i was rambling it's only after the part it says if you find a sword that causes visions you must give it to tim apple <laughs> yeah literally tim apple all the way it's just tradition for challenges. They're mostly issued at the castle. Uh -huh. It ensures that the people involved in the fight can't back out. We take these battles very seriously, as you could tell. I know, it's part of the Apple Terms of Service, so you have to. It's legally binding. I nod that that much was clear. I hope we haven't issued any I can offense. flirt with the Draku? Holy shit. <laughs> you know my... You guys know my policy... My policy is, and forever shall be, that I will always pick the flirtation 
and but do you take it as seriously as climbing maybe not but let's see if i can i'm gonna flirt with draco i didn't know you could do it Riz him up i'm gonna do it hell yeah you're not the first to try to charm your way out of this i'm not trying to charm way out nothing your honor in alorinthia without honor and just like fortame seriously maybe i mean it did you think of that maybe i think those ears are real cute and the little fuzzy things on your cheeks they're real cute what do you think about that what if i'm being real right now with Did that you said i have a ball to enjoy if you'll excuse me i have some subjects to appease hopefully it keeps them happy until next year's party okay thanks for turning me down it didn't hurt as much as when Hal turned me down because that was literally being turned down like by a thousand people at the same time your mistake wasn't talking to him about climbing. I should have known, but that was close, Draco. That was close. He walks into the ballroom and as quickly is crowded by people. Greeting every single one, he ensures that they'll all be happy. He's very charismatic. Everyone painted him as a savage man. I hope he's savage. Or Fortame probably hopes he's savage. We'll see. I notice Damic and Valesa standing off to the side. They don't seem overly interested in joining the party. I didn't get their input yet, so maybe I should approach them. I take a few steps forward as not to block the entrance of the ballroom. The music gets louder, and the reverberation fills the grand room. The sight and sound combine to make an utterly beautiful experience. I try my best to enjoy this before retiring to my private quarters. When I was ready to sleep, and then fight, that's where I'd go. I couldn't delay it forever, but I could occupy myself for a bit. Ooh. Halen. Uh-oh, it's Van Halen's side. Forte needs to him needs himself a savage. I agree. All right, I'm going to go I'm going to go see what Halen's up to. It's Van Halen time, so let's go. Halen too. Hell yeah. While the bodies swayed on the dance floor, Halen and Jane did a dance of their own. Weapons clashing, they sparred was time for Halen to put his new apprentice to the test. So far, it seemed like their skill was equally matched, a deadlock at the best variety. <laughs> you put up more of a fight than Sovi ever did. Where did you learn techniques like that, Shane? It almost feels like you're the teacher in this scenario. You pick up a lot of stuff on the streets of Maseo. Back when I Fuck was younger, this guy. I, I hate Shane. I'm sorry, I hate Shane. A lot of the I do. Are just like me, so get used to it. Let me guess, you all banded together after the occupation. That means if I learn your weakness, I learn theirs. A weak strategy. All sharing the same fighting style. I don't think that's what he said, but fair, I guess. Well, now I know why you wanted to spar so soon. And here I thought you might be warming up to me. Aww. No, I still hate you, Shane. I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Stop being a bitch. I'm going to kill you myself. Right, that's my job. Shane, that's my job. Don't flatter yourself, Shane. Then stop giving me reasons to. <laughs> oh, you guys are so funny. The weapons clash again. Halen's sword was Shane's daggers. He had no problem being Halen's match with such small weapons. His agility and quick thinking was more than enough to counter raw strength. I guess Sovi wasn't much of a fighter. He used to be, but I could tell he always held back. There was doubt in his mind, and it clouded his judgment. Yeah. I trusted it would go away, but yes. you know what happened next. Shane, no one likes you, you traitorous bitch. Nobody likes Shane. It's He's basically like, he's the opposite of Raymond in Everybody Loves Raymond. Nobody likes Shane. That's the, that's the sitcom that, this is like the buddy sitcom, Nobody Likes Shane. That's going to be the, the show's name. Yeah, and he's paying for his mistakes. But you can trust me, Halen. I won't let you down. Remember what I did when we were in Mazeo. Yeah, you freaking stabbed a guy while making him relive, like, trauma. And then basically tried to kill him by tricking him with his, like, literally his, like, worst moment in his life. You're you're an asshole. You, you were an asshole. Like, that's, remember what you did? You were an asshole. So it's not that impressive. You killed your former leader. 
your best friend. Instead of everybody hates Chris, it's everybody hates Shane. Shane. Seriously. That proves your loyalty almost tenfold. Good. Shane sheaths his daggers, done with the sparring. So what do you think Sovi will do next? I mean, he's no longer welcome in Balteus, right? Maybe he'll take a vacation. I hear that the Ozarks are nice this time of year, so maybe he'll be on that. I saw him wandering the halls before he left. It's funny. He might actually try to seek out the blade. He was saying something uh -oh. about here over and over. Uh-oh. Uh oh. What makes him think it'll be in Alarinthia? Because we're here, Shane. Keep up, okay? I know you're too busy being a little bitch, but we're all over here. Well, the rebellion will try its hardest to survive. After what we did, it makes sense that they'd flee the mainland. They can't come here, so the only other option is Alarinthia. <laughs> Shane, you can never be redeemed for that. Like, if the Triumvirate finds out, they'll kill you. I don't know. Maybe they would, but uh, maybe they would. That's possible. Makes sense when you put it that way. Maybe he can regain his honor after all. But I have to ask, why aren't we going? Why aren't you going? The Rebellion will come here eventually. We have the home advantage if we sit and wait. There's no way they can overpower our army. That's smart. So we're really doing this. We're going to end the Rebellion. I feel like I feel like the problem I have with Shane's thing is that he's just kind of an idiot. Like this whole thing is because like literally Savi was like, "Oh, did you know that fucking like Damic was talking some shit, bro?" And then that was it. Shane was like, "What, bro? He was talking some shit? That's it. I'm going to stab his ass and I'm going to take down the rebellion." Like literally, that's all it took. That's all it took. And any more that may come I sense a bright future for us, Shane. And we'll do it all. For the Triumvirate. For the Triumvirate. Yeah, for the Triumvirate. For the Triumvirate. All right, we're back here now. That was good. That was a good time. Let's do Let's do these guys. We'll do the heart to hearts at last, I think. So I'm going to start with what are the ones I think would be the most. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to do that do one first. To throw parties or what? I feel like Hal's gonna be like, I don't care. Like, maybe he's gonna join the Bad Batch, but his PTSD is gonna make him doubt himself because all his self worth is being a soldier. Then there will be an, an emotional moment where he remembers his dead friends. I, I would think you're talking about Crosshair, and potentially that's possible. Who do you mean by we? Us, not you and your thousand people who have turned me down. Our people, like the pure ones. We're different civilizations, remember? Did the old monarchy party like this? this nah, they're definitely not. <laughs> Why do you wish to know such trivial information? Because reasons, How Do you like partying? What's your favorite type of toast? Do you like cheese? What's your favorite color? It's what friends do, Hal. Haven't you ever heard of hanging out? You just talk to each other about everything. Well, the old monarchy did party. And to be honest, there isn't much difference. Do you see this as a sort of competition? Do you, Fortame? I'm curious, actually. Not exactly. Well, maybe? It's always cool to know you have the most fun. Do you not compare yourself to other people? I mean, there are thousands of people in him at once. I'm pretty sure if he did, that would drive him insane. That would be a waste of time. There is no benefit in being like other people. We simply wish to be ourselves. Unique. See? This is what friends do. They just talk. Keep going, Hal. Tell me what's on your mind. You don't need a specific topic or anything. 
we would ask why you consider us a friend. Does the world benefit from this conversation? Is there a purpose to this sort of interaction? I'm pretty sure it's four times, so the answer is yes and no and no. Perhaps we should talk about the matter at hand. There is much to discuss about Vivian and Draku. In all serious note, though, Crosshair has become my favorite clones. Apparently, I have apparently have a thing for evil characters realizing their error in the ways and slowly redeeming himself. Or Tame Legit has 20 in charisma. He really does. Uh, I like Crosshair a lot, too. I think of, of the group, probably Crosshair, because they really have put a lot of narrative focus on him. So I do like it. And they also kind of hinted... Uh, in the early of season one, when uh, when Omega, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, not Omega, Omega, uh, <laughs> Omega said it, you know, basically like was like kind of kind of like bonding with Crosshair to a certain degree, or at least like connecting with him. I kind of felt that was a thing. So I do like Crosshair of the of the group. I think he definitely is the one we're meant to follow. You know what he kind of reminds me of? It reminds me of what's his name in Rebels. Like the uh, the guy that was like the captain uh, that was like trying to get the rebels, and then uh, after like uh, being um, being abandoned on that planet with Seb, and like kind of joined them afterwards. It kind of reminds me of that guy to a certain extent, uh, and I liked him too. Kanan? No, 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 not Kanan. Uh, the the guy that was with the 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 um, oh god. Uh, the, the guy that was with, uh, the, 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 the empire, like he was not Kanan, but the guy that was with the empire, he was like, he was one of the commanders on there. He was like, I think he was like the main, like kind of like the main villain through season one for the most part. Nope. We can't talk about that. That's work stuff. We're here to unwind. Commander Wolf is... No, Commander Wolf is Bad Batch, though. I'm talking about the guy from Rebels. Another concept we do Unless not he was Wolf, too. I don't think it was. We waste, the enemy Let me go log it up. Gets stronger. Well, let's see if I can figure this name out. Agent Callus. That's it. Agent Callus. Because remember, he was kind of in that same thing. He, like, was against them, and then he kind of, like, got to know Seb uh, a little bit, and then they, like, he kind of turned and, like, had that same, like, after that time with Seb on that, like, frozen planet, he, like, started to kind of, like, kind of get back to the, uh, to the, the Empire in his life, and he started to, like, go, man, maybe this isn't the best way. And it kind of reminds me of, of Crosshair to a certain extent. A little bit. It's not a waste, though. If our bond grows stronger, then so do we. It's important to get along with your comrades, Hal. Yeah, like, you know how, like, Pro and uh, Ulrich do? It's just like that. Very well. We will try. This party is an interesting experience. Are you having a good Frozen time planets have game? a thing for turning people against the Empire? That's true. Wait, Freddy, Freddy Prince Jr. was Kanan. You're right, he was. Fred from the live-action Scooby-Doo, exactly. Yes, he was Freddy Prince Jr., big part of Star Wars history at this point. Are you having a good time, Fortame? That's cute. Fortame basically is, is like, hitting on everybody right now. There we go. Now you're doing it right. Just a few more steps and you'll be ready to dance. Oh, how? You got to bust a move. I want to see how a bust a move. We would rather die. No, 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 no. Don't, don't throw it away just yet. <laughs> I want to see that. Okay, let's do uh, these. This, this should be interesting. I'm going to go to this one. So, pro, are you having a good time? All right, gang, let's split up and take down the empire. <laughs> That's it. Then at the end, it's basically like, yeah, it's like Freddy Prince next to the emperor. And he's like, Oh, I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for uh the Freddy Prince and his damn Jedi friends. Of course, all according to plan. I know Ulrich is mad, but he'll get over it. We can win this without either of us dying. Well, I feel like that's the plan. Yeah, just take out the leader, right? 
Ulrich is stubborn, though, so be careful. I think he might actually try to kill you. Well, he just told me that he would, so I think it's right. I've been right. watching him spar for years. I'll be fine. I know exactly how he operates. The best weapon is knowledge, right? Sure, something like that. The second best weapon is a sword that stabs you. You remembered my lessons. Great. How could I forget? It'll help me win this battle. I know it. Make sure to cheer me on, all right? I think I'd like to remain silent, actually. I can't be taking sides at a time like this. As long as we get an alliance, I'm happy. I would have gotten away with it, too, if it wasn't for you meddling rebels in your Jedi. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I would have gotten away with it, too, if it wasn't for you, your, the meddling rebels in your Jedi. Also, I'm, I'm alive. Somehow, I survived. Fortame, try not to riz everybody up challenge. It's impossible. He'll never do it. Oh, come on. Not even gonna clap for me. I'll remember it's that so cool that he speech. married Daphne in real life. Oh, yeah, because that was uh, that was Sarah Michelle Geller, right? Yeah. Good old Buffy the Vampire Slayer herself did it just like that. I think my days of giving speeches are over, bro. That honor belongs to the monarch now. But I'm sure they'd say the same as me. No, I went the other way. I hate how neutral everybody is acting. Sometimes it's all right to take a side. But you did it kind of hastily. Well, it's not that I'm not taking a side. It's more like, nah, I shouldn't gossip to you. You're a combatant. It would affect your morale. What an interesting way to tell me that you side with Ulrich. Sometimes not saying something tells me all I need to hear. Okay, now you're just being kind of mean. Well, yeah, the sad thing uh, that both Shaggy went down through the special after after Scooby-Doo died. What happened to Scooby-Doo? I don't know this part. What happened to him? Oh, really sad. The path Shaggy went down went or the path Shaggy went down after Scooby-Doo died. When did Scooby-Doo die? I don't remember hearing about that. Now you're just putting words in my mouth. The only person I tell is the monarch. Interesting. Interesting. What? You're not the first person to unconditionally trust the monarch. Perhaps I could use that to my advantage in the future. Hey, I'm standing right here. I can hear every word you're saying. I think this is where I get back to the party. This whole scheming business isn't really for me. But I doubt the monarch would abuse their role for you. I might. I might. Depending on the offer. Don't put yourself in that position. You're probably right, Domek. They'd have to do it without knowing. Just imagine the swindling I could do. This is so unlike what he said he wanted to be like. Uh, it's because Matthew Lillard says William oh plays William Afton in FNAF. Clearly he'd only killed those kids because he lost Scoob. Ah, you're right. I guess that's true. I haven't seen that. I need to see that movie still. I've been kind of like on the fence with it. I really do need to see it though. I'm wondering if it like, if that's like the new canon, you know, like the official canon. We'll see. What am I doing? Oh yeah, okay, I got this one. Let's oh, do this. this place Whoa! Is incredible. Whoa! Raku this place sure is incredible. A party. What about you, Ulrich? Having fun? Yeah, tell us all about how much fun you're having, Ulrich. That's so like you. Draco was my enemy, Balesa. We're practically being held prisoner. Despite that, yeah, I'm having a good time. Are you having a good time? I could tell, actually. <laughs> how many drinks is that? Five? You don't want to fight with a hangover, do you? Oh, no. It's really good. I think once everyone's uh, favorite, it it's its own canon. I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh, I think it's once again everyone's favorite. It's in its own canon. So you're saying, oh, okay, so they're like they're keeping it separate from the games. Like, hmm. I feel like that that could hurt it because like I feel like if it, if they want it to like build this world or like ability to play the games, then because to me like Security Breach had problems and I was very frustrated with that game, but I think Ruin kind of brought me back into it. And so I want that story to continue. And also when I was on my trip, I was reading one of the books. Um, like uh, it was something about like a tiger. And I think it was the mimic. 
uh, or something like that, like Tiger Rock. And I feel like um, I feel like they they need to like make sure that everything kind of connects in some way. Like I feel like if you do the fragmented thing, it can really hurt it. Uh, it makes better for general audiences. And Scott has talked about how a lore heavy movie would turn a lot of people. Away. It would. Tiger Rock is the mimic. Okay, it would turn a lot of people away, but you have to be like able to introduce it in a more subtle fashion. So like, I'm not saying they should like go straight into like security breach level of like lore. Um, they don't need to do that or like get really in depth into like the story of like all that stuff. But I feel like you could make that work within the canon of everything. And that might be better overall. It wouldn't be the first time. I've taught myself to fight in any state of being. Just something you learn to do when you're as old as I am. Yeah, you you haven't told her that, so I just want you to know that you might want to be careful about your next words. And how old is that? At least 2,000. Old enough. Besides, I doubt I'll have much trouble tomorrow. Even if I fought Draku while drunk, I could take him down. So don't worry about my well-being. I've got this. That's that is not a great attitude to take on this one because I'm guessing Draco doesn't fight believe while you're that. Drunk too? Of course, it actually makes things easier. Your movements are sloppy and unpredictable. That's all you need to confuse and overpower your opponent. This is a horrible advice. What are you talking about? No, 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 no. Don't, Valessa. Do not listen to him at all, please. Wow, I never thought of it that way. Don't. No, That's it's a bad idea. It's horrible. It's really style. stupid. You'll be sober tomorrow, though, right? That's a really stupid thing. That's a that's a stupid thing of advice. Don't do it. Depends on how tonight goes. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Just go and have a good time. All right? All right. All right, if you say so. This is gonna be super interesting. Two undefeated men locked in combat. And then one dies. Yeah. I'll make sure to put on a good show for you. It's like a sport. Everybody will be watching intently. You better cheer for me. I'll be listening, Vanessa. Sure. <laughs> They're being very casual about a fight to the death. Okay, so I guess I have to go see Domic and Valessa here. That is the next thing, but I can also look at some stuff. The dance floor is full of people swaying from side to side. Watching them celebrate with big smiles helps me relax. Even in this awful time, there could be still there still could be happiness. Okay. Anything else? It's much closer to the first game story, though they change a couple of characters and relationship motivations. But it makes sense to with Remnant and Agony doesn't come up probably because yeah, that that would be a little much. I feel like the Remnant and Agony stuff would be a little much. And I do know they did change some of the story because obviously like Vanessa's there. <laughs> And that was never a thing. So um, I get that part for sure. Uh, let's go see Valessa. Valessa, heart. I'm running out of heart to hearts, guys. We're getting towards. Uh, we're getting towards the end of that stuff. I approach Valessa and watch and inspect her at, or watch her inspect the buffet table. It looks like she's having a hard time de deciding on what to eat. It's all free though, so I'd have the. I'd have some of everything. Why do they need to put alcohol in everything? These pastries would be fine on their own, you know. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. But it doesn't also mean that you shouldn't. So enjoy. She fills up a plate with a few random sweets. It appears they're all alcoholic in nature. That sounds fancy, but they're all just doused. The locals are sure eating this stuff up, though. Call me old-fashioned, but food and drink should stay separate. If You're old fashioned. Delicacy around here, then Alorenthia isn't really my place. Okay, but that's not true. I've definitely there are some good sweets that can have alcohol in them. She smiles and continues filling her plate. But you gotta eat, right? This isn't sure. the kind of place you want to go hungry. I never thought I'd miss some of the food back in Valinorth. What kind of food? But enough oh. about that. Ah. Are you having a good time, Monarch? Aside I, from the whole Coliseum business. Oh, you know me. I'm having a great time. I'm much better now that I'm with you. Oh, stop it, Monarch. You're <laughs> embarrassing me. Oh. There's far more interesting people here than me. Try mingling with the locals. I'll always be around. 
got to introduce the idea of ghost kids before you can get into metal infused with souls possessed by there being extreme emotions near them. Yeah, that's a tough sell. That is a tough sell. Uh, that will be it. See, but that's the thing. You watching? I you gotta see like, you gotta do, you, you gotta do your bottom. best to like kind of introduce know. things in ways that, that are on. more relatable. She smiles softly while eating pastries on her plate. It isn't much longer until they're all gone. She must have been starving. I don't blame her. The journey was taxing in every possible way. Also, I feel like a lot of the food is improved with alcohol. It depends. I mean, not everything's going to be good with it, but um, there are some really good like desserts you can do with that kind of thing. Like some chocolates filled with like some like, you know, sweet like uh, liqueur or something like that could work really well. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I talked to Alex a little more on the way here, you know, to learn a little bit more about our parents. Were they pretty badass? Are you going to tell me how badass they are? I'm so Part curious. I was hoping to hear something positive. Uh huh. Uh huh. You know, like they were paragons of virtue or oh, something. Oh, yeah. Meat cooked in beer? I thought maybe just. And maybe. like beer can, like chicken people. can be pretty good. If you if you use that as like a, a basing subject, you can do some stuff like that. I've, I've done, you know, it's actually better than people think. Um, if you soak steak in Coca Cola, I know it sounds terrible. I know it sounds terrible. But you do, like, you soak it in, in Coke, and then you use a little bit of, like, rosemary, salt, pepper, and some garlic after the fact. And it gives it this, like, really sweet taste, but it also breaks the meat down. So um, it will it will make it, like, really tender because, like, the, 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 the soda does a really good job breaking shit down. And then it gives it, like, this sweet and savory thing with, like, the salt and the garlic. It's really good. And the rosemary adds a little bit of niceness to it. I'm telling you, works really well. But you gotta like soak it for about an hour or more, depending on how much time you have. As she talks, the live band starts to play a bit louder. Nah, that checks out. People flood the dance floor with their partners. Valesa watches all the couples with a wide smile. She places her empty plate back on the table. Sorry, the music kind of cut me off. Right. I was talking about her parents. I learned so much about them on the trip here. Oh, it's going to be a romantic, guys. It's going to be a romantically fun time. Are you ready for this? I'm going to do it. Wait, what? Yeah. I don't know how to dance. Neither do I. I just end up embarrassing the both of us. I have no idea what I'm doing. Don't worry about it. It's going to be great. I shake my head and grab her hand, slowly leading her to the dance floor. I take the initiative. It's also impressive they got alcohol into dessert somehow, since most of it would get reduced during cooking. Yeah, you would have to be... I think if it was like... If it's like a chocolate type thing or something like that, then like if you do like, like a chocolate, you could just like inject it and then melt the where the entry point. You could do it that way too. Like I guess if it was like a liqueur based like like a liqueur based like um, sugary thing. I want to see Fort Tame dancing with Draku. That would be so good because he would have to like basically lift him up because like I, I picture like Draku like towering over the top of him. It would be so good. I tell her that nobody here knows how to dance. It's just fun. <sighs> fun <laughs> well don't say I didn't warn you <laughs> you'll be teasing us about this for years to come <sighs> I can endure some teasing for you though oh. you're worth it oh thank you oh sometimes you just need to hear it oh. thank you she blesses and I slowly guide her hands to the right position on my butt one of her hands rests on, on her back holding her close to my body. The other grips her hand and holds it outward, our fingers entwined. Yeah, I've seen chocolates like that on Amazon, though I can't find them on the website. I don't know if they... Yeah. Does, is, is, is Amazon allowed to sell alcohol? I didn't think they were. I didn't think they did that. But maybe. Um, Let's see. Maybe it's like a state-by-state -state thing. I actually don't know. Uh, as if to hide her blushing face, she presses her head firmly against my body. I guess this isn't so bad. So, uh, you wanted to hear about our parents. Yeah, that's the best thing to do while dancing close together. I nod as we continue to dance. I really have no idea what I'm doing. Looking at everybody else, I notice they all display the same footwork. It's carefully calculated so nobody bumps into each other as they dance. I mimic that while I wait for Valesa to speak. Just a quick warning, it's not the best atmosphere for this story. 
I mean, talking about pirates doesn't exactly fill one with joy. But Why would it not? It's important you, to know more about our families. I don't think they. I don't think they are. I don't think so. But they were in stock. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, we're gonna dance. We're gonna dance. Like gonna I dance said, till the morning I was comes. To hear some good news. Uh huh. I always pictured our parents as these perfect heroic people, but it turns out they really weren't. They were bad people, Monarch. Listen, we can't judge everybody by their profession. That's not gonna work. And our pirates get involved in shady things, but right? They embraced it. Yeah. Killing, stealing, smuggling, you name it. They were legends in Mazeo. You're they looking at this all wrong. <laughs> while they were back home. Valesa, this sounds awesome. I'm just gonna put this out there. This sounds awesome. I feel like you're approaching this from the wrong place. That's how they managed to have a presence in both nations at once. True. They went to Mazeo every month or so to inspect their operations in person. Explains how they managed to raise us and balance their double lives. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We continue to dance, and I listen intently. Her grip on my hand becomes tighter, and her body moves closer. I can tell she's getting more relaxed, as confidence appears in her movements. Maybe it's for the best that they passed on when they did. The village and Salus raised us. They gave us our sense of morals. I can't say I'd be too happy if I inherited the morals of our parents. Well, okay. They could okay. have dragged us into the life of piracy as we grew up, too. That would be dangerous. We could have died years ago, you know? If you died, then right now, the world would have no hope at all. That's a lot of pressure. Thanks, Valesa. I appreciate so, it. Maybe the occupation was meant to happen. It's guided us to where we are now. Shaped us into who we've become. If we let them shape us, then... <sighs> I have no idea where we'd be right now. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Uh, not sure how to take that. I feel like she's putting a lot of pressure on me. You know what I mean? I feel like there's just a lot of pressure on me right now. She's like, well, if you, uh, you better, uh, make sure that you win because if you don't, people are gonna die. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, just don't get cranked. Why are you making me feel so bad about things? And then it's it's just not going well. What is this here? Da, 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 da. Looks good to me. Okay. Valesa may be one of them that was named Edward and stole this guy's clothes to join a war. And that has been raging for centuries. Right? <laughs> it's so weird. This game becomes literally Valesa really stopped bringing down the vibe. Like Seriously, parents. we're dancing right now. And she's like, oh, right this now, sucks. And I'm like, you mean my dancing? Or no, she means the story. And I'm like, ah, oh, I don't All know. All I can do is dedicate my life to being better people than them. Yeah. Winds of Change, Jojo. Winds of Change, the prequel to all of Assassin's Creed. <laughs> we didn't know that until now, but this is the prequel to all of Assassin's Creed. Maybe that can undo some of the damage they've done. Because I know they tore our families apart. They killed and robbed. Some would say that in the end, being murdered was their justice. Okay. Wow. This is going well. But I don't think death is a good form of justice. They should have gotten a chance to make up for their crimes. With them gone, I feel like it's our job to do what they couldn't. Right? So... That's something else I'm going to fight for. I'll make up for the damage our parents inflicted. I'll give the world peace, so no one has to feel pain. Okay, well, I got some bad news, because once we win the war, all those guys we made seers, that's gonna suck. There's nothing you can do about that. We'll make a world that doesn't need people like our parents. A world that treats everyone with unconditional love and equality. No one will have to live in poverty or turn to a life of crime. Right? Nobody deserves to be a victim of circumstance. To have their life determined by the world around them? No, it's not it at all. We shape the world, not the other way around. Okay, you're turning this around. You're, you're, you're recovering. I appreciate that. She pulls her head back and looks up to my eyes as we sway... So let's shape it into something beautiful. A place where... Valesa, no we're talking about our our evil. dad, Edward Kenway, and the legendary pirate, which is weird because he seems to stop being a pirate during the story in 4. And then according to Ubisoft Connect, or Connect outfit he was wearing, like, nah, actually, I like piracy. Maybe. I actually haven't... 
I never finished Black Flag. <laughs> never finished it. I really should have at some point. I never did it, but I should. Uh, it's not like they woke up one day just wanting to be pirates. Maybe it was their parents before them or some close friends. Rip it so good. I, I know. I really did it enjoy it, we'll but it's just been so long. And I really kind of stopped playing the Assassin's Creed games after three. Like I, I really want, I, and I tried playing that one and then I just like, I just couldn't get back into it. And I don't know why. I feel like I just kind of fell out of love with them. I really love the first like three of them. And then I just kind of stopped. And we'll start a new cycle. One of peace, happiness, and prosperity. One where our children can live full, happy lives. Our children? Wait. What? I smile at her and dip our, her head low as the music comes to an end. I hold that pose for as long as I can, enjoying the sense of togetherness. Shortly after, I raise back up and we leave the dance floor amongst the crowd. When we get back to Maseo, I, I want to see their old hideout. And I'd really like it if you'd come with me, Monarch. Well, give me a sense of closure. And let me move on. Okay. We're going to check out their... I never thought I'd learn more about our parents in this journey. Oh, that must be our, our thing, right? I'm playing Valhalla, and I gotta expected. say it's a good game, but it does not feel like Assassin's Creed game. Back, That's the other thing. Never learn it? Well, I wouldn't. That's the other thing, is I do feel like they kind of have swayed further and further away from that formula, which is probably a good idea, but maybe it just doesn't connect with me as much that way. I don't know. It gives me the drive to become a better person, and it really makes me appreciate everything I have, including you, Monarch. I can never do this alone. Okay, if you're going to be close with me, Valesa, you got to stop calling me Monarch. That's just weird. I mean, it's okay. Like, if you want to call me your highness, especially in the bedroom, if you're like, oh, your majesty. <laughs> That's, guys, anybody out there, just throwing it out there in the bedroom. If you call me your highness, <laughs> I'll melt. But <laughs> this is, it's the way of things, right? It's the way of things. All right. <laughs> just a little tip for those. Uh, I don't know why I'm saying this. Anyway, she grabs both my hands and we look, looks deep into my eyes. Thank you for asking me to dance, by the way. I guess Draku's Grand Ball is a good spot for a first date. But maybe next time we can go somewhere with better food. That was our first date? Alright, I wasn't aware of that. So, I'm not paying if that's what you're trying to get at. Just putting that out there. She smiles and then runs off, doing her own thing. I'm sure almost everybody saw us dance. There was no hiding it. But I'm glad that we did. I want to be with her, no matter the circumstances. I'm literally with everybody. Valesa's loyalty scene has been unlocked. You'll be available after the completion of Act 4. Loyalty scenes can be initiated from the Rebel HQ war table. Okay. I'm gonna go see... You... Like as a historical fantasy Viking game, it's great, but it isn't the same as being an assassin. Do uh, do like the order uh, though, and being huge side quest. It's a cool idea, and it's fun traveling the world and track them down. Well, yeah, yeah, it's true. I mean, I like I said, I haven't played it. Like I, I was thinking about doing Odyssey or whatever it was, like the old ancient Egypt one. Uh, I never really got into it. I know they changed like the battle system a lot there, but I don't know if that like how far they went with that. We'll see. Maybe someday I'll do it. I walk over to Damik as he's standing alone in the corner of the ballroom. Proud of her, she managed to riz you up. She's risen and dizzen all the way. I want, and, 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 and he looks a bit awkward, like he doesn't know where to fit in. But I don't blame him. With the story he told me last time, I knew a crowded ballroom floor would frighten him. Hey there, Monarch. I hope you're having a good time. I mean, given the circumstances, of course. You know me. I can imagine it's hard to have fun when you know what's coming. Actually, you know me. forget I said that. I don't want to ruin your experience. I'm just airing my own grievances. Forgive my venting. If that's you venting, then I would hate to see you upset. Origins is really good. The gameplay is different, but it still feels like Assassin's Creed. Gotcha. I tell him it's fine, and, he, and then stand beside him. Together, we watch the patrons dance in the center of the room. They look like they're having the time of their lives while we stand here. You know, I've been thinking. I face death back in Maseo and I'll face it tomorrow. 
After that, I'll just go on to face it again when we attack Balteus. Good point. Life is great, isn't it? <laughs> I could die tomorrow, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or the next day, or the day after. So I keep asking myself, what should I do before I die? A lot comes to mind, but a few are very important to me. Uh-oh, it's a bucket list. Damix taught facing death. It might be bucket list time. I want to go back to where it happened, Monarch. Back to the place where I spent the last moments with my mother. Uh, I've never been back there since I grabbed that pendant. Uh, I was scared. Just thinking about that place made it seem like it was happening all over again. Okay. I can't even imagine what would happen if I went back there for real, you know? For realsies? It's easy to avoid since the town square is quite large, but I'm done avoiding things. Okay. I could have died back in those tunnels, Monarch. Something you like did. That really Technically, puts you did. Into perspective. Technically, you if did I die. die Literally, you did. Sure I've lived he needs mo touch hug. I he needs a no touch hug. I'll just like kind of like wrap my arms around him, but not touch, and then I'll just be like, okay, that's fine, and then we'll just like that'll be it. So that means there's a few things I'd like to do. Most importantly, I'd like to go back to where I lost my mother. Yes, we went there. I don't want that place to hold power over me. I want the power. Okay. You already know about some of my other fears too. But it'd be ill-mannered of me to request your help for those. So, about Mazeo, I'd just like a good friend to be by my side. No, 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 I would help you if you want it. He blushes and shuffles in place. It was clear that he meant his fear of physical contact. I'm okay if you want some help there. I, would, I wouldn't say no. I could help him with his Mazeo trip, but I stopped to think about the rest. By the power of Grayskull, Domic has the power! Can you say something, Monarch? I don't know if I can handle such an awkward silence. Well, don't worry, Domic. I can help put all your fears to rest. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All of them? Uh, then that means... Hey! You know I'll, I'll let you take uh, the lead on that one. Okay. We're a long way from Mazeo, after all. I can be patient. Great. Great. I don't know what I'm going to do. I just said the words. I didn't know if I had a plan. So I'll think about that. He smiles almost like a weight has been lifted from his shoulders. It would be important to him to find or the, the final battle with a clear mind. Yeah, damn it. All your fears. All of them. Unless it's spiders, because I also have a fear of spiders so if you have a fear of spiders can't help you with that i'm also in the same boat sorry about that uh when we get back to the mainland there was no reason not to help him well that's pretty much all i had to say i'll let you get back to whatever you were doing unless there's anything <laughs> else you had to say before you go oh yeah you want to be my date for the evening maybe he's scared of the dark he could be i'm gonna go for it here we go oh, oh. really did my talk about seizing the day inspire you? Oh yeah, baby. I, mean, I, I guess I could keep you company. You could. I don't have any other plans. Right. And just in case it goes badly tomorrow, you deserve a really good night. Baby. <laughs> Uh-oh. This is getting this is getting spicy. Maybe. He smiles and walks around the ballroom together. We stop at the buffet table and inspect our potential options. Alarinthian pastries. Are these any good? If you're seizing the day, then I guess I should too. Okay. I hear they have alcohol in them. Why seize the day when I can seize you? <laughs> that seems to be the case. I hear they have alcohol in them, in them, so you should be careful with that. He grabs one of them and starts to eat. After a few bites, he starts to cough, his eyes wide open. He wipes away the crumbs that fall of his attire and blushes embarrassed. Of course they're infused with alcohol. I just told Somehow. you. Everything in this nation has some sort of a twist to it. You can never just get what you want in Alarinthia. Oh, yes, we can. Well, unless, of course, I'm uh, talking about <laughs> you. Ah, you see, a fine we're place on the to same have our page. first date, despite we're literally the circumstances. On the same page. When you forget about the Colosseum nonsense, this isn't too bad. It ain't so bad at all, right? Yeah, damn it. Eat responsibly. Eat responsibly. If things go Don't well, eat and drive back next year. Please you do that stuff. Smooth, right. damn it, smooth. I mean, celebrate anniversaries. When you take the throne, you can travel wherever you want. I'm pretty sure I could, but also I will probably have a lot of paperwork, so I'm gonna be busy. 
and I'd be honored if you let me stand by your side. You know, I was always too scared to flirt or bond with anybody. But Why I did it get so quiet? Change perspective is one benefit of a near death experience. No, you were actually dead. It wasn't near death, it was actual death experience. Like, literally. If you could even call it. Day? Say I'm pretty sure okay. I did die. Oh my god. We're just and if you want to know what scared me the most, nothing happened. When I was younger, they said I'd see my mother again in the afterlife. Why is it getting sad? Why is why are we going to make it sad? That's kind of what kept me going. It was a happy that moment. Made me happy. It was literally in happy. Fact, I even smiled in my final moments. I'd finally see her again. Okay. The world is a cruel place, though. I'm sorry. And of course, nothing happened. But you weren't dead that long. Maybe you just needed to wait a minute. Until I opened my eyes again and saw you. I don't Hal. think the world leaders tend to travel also, damn it. Of me. You can stand my a lot closer shifted. than by my side the if you don't have to my mother again. He might, he might, but now he's being a little sad, so he's getting a little he's getting a little sad. I thought I might see my mother and then completely if disappear. If I chase the future, I'd never enjoy the present. That's part of why I agreed to join you on this date, actually. Good, good. I just wish I was able to realize this sooner before the attack. The monarchy saved me by using their powers to heal me. I'll never waste the second chance they gave me. Never. I'll embrace it and save it every moment until the end. That's a good New Year's resolution. I appreciate that. We continue chatting and spending time with one another. The events of the Rebel HQ definitely made him a changed man. And it was good to change too. He's seizing the day, as it were. When we returned to Mizeo, I'd take him back to that faithful spot. But with me by his side, I think he'd be able to overcome his past. And when that happened, we'd build a new, happy future together. Damik, don't make us question the terrifying idea of being nothing after death. I think he just didn't give it enough time, is the thing. If he just gave it a little bit more time, maybe. Or maybe there is nothing. I don't know. Damik's loyalty scene has been unlocked. Loyalty scenes will be unlocked at the end of Act 4. They can be initiated from the war table in Rebel HQ. Okay. I think that's everything here. So I'm guessing the next thing would be private rooms. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Ooh, this is fancy. As soon as I get to my private rooms, I rest the blade beside the bed. It feels good to get that weight off my shoulders. Too bad the relief would be ephemeral. I sit down in the bed and think about what could be coming in the next few days. The tournament decided the fate of Alarinthia, an alliance with us to help attack Balteus. Not even a day or two after the Colosseum battle, we'd be sailing into the final battle. Would we win or would we perish? The blade showed me nothing when I asked. I sit down on the bed and decide to not try and using the blade again. The anxiety of not being able to know almost wasn't worth it. It was supposed to do what I wanted it to. Was it... Was I not strong enough? I just realized, like, it's like sleeping, if you think about it. Like, if you just kind of fall asleep and you don't always dream, sometimes you just wake up hours later. I guess it could be. It's kind of in that realm. But, I don't know. I mean, I feel like death could probably be, like, a lot like sleeping, depending on the circumstance that you're in. But it's really hard to say, and I feel like, you know, being like death is a very scary thing, and I think we often like get into that mindset that death is very scary, and I think that does like kind of lead to the idea that you want to like, you know, uh, figure it out for yourself or figure out like what's going on. But I don't know if it's worth like really, really getting into it and really, really thinking about it to that degree, because if you do, sometimes that can like lead to just kind of overthinking these things. And I think that sometimes it's better just to kind of let leave those things to, you know, whatever may happen because you really can't control it. And it is what it is, you know, like it's not the worst thing. It's part of part of life. And I think, you know, we don't have to explain everything. I think that's what I'm saying is not everything has to be explained. Not everything has to be known. Sometimes the great unknown is the best mystery, at least in my opinion. But we'll see. Not everyone has to follow that. But what else was going on? Let me see something here. 
do 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 and we'll just get back to this uh was i not strong enough the blade was so mysterious i'd probably never know i'd lie down having had enough of today's events things were crazy just when i i think I, we get to relax we were pushed into more conflict but this conflict has clearly proven divisive amongst our team. Crow and Ulrich against each other. Vivian and Dracoop. They're not really part of our team. Perhaps this is a lesson that casualties were unavoidable. Maybe. Oh, it was going to black. It's fading to black. Help! I'm, I'm passing out. I close my eyes and hold on to a firm resolve in my heart. No. None of my comrades would die tomorrow. They'd survive. We were all survivors. And that's what we continue to do forever. Uh-oh. I think I'm back at there. I think it's better to focus on having a good life and thinking about death. When I die, I'd rather have people remember for the time they spent with me. Yeah, I think that's the way it is. I think you should always, like, that's for you too, right? Like, not just what other people will see of you. Focus on what you have in, in your time now. It's about, like, you know... Try to remember, and it's hard to do that. You're never going to 100% be able to do it. But, like, try to remember that, like, what's important is now. And then that's the thing you can, can to some degree, can control. Instead of falling asleep, however, I find myself someplace familiar. It's the same locale I found myself in after falling asleep in Peregrino. This wasn't just some random dream. I had to be here for a purpose. All I knew is that this was the triumvirate's chambers. There was no doubt in my mind, but why was I here? Not only once, but twice. There needed to be a reason. The blade weighs heavily on my back. Ah, the teleporting to the triumvirate. And I slowly pull it out. I can sense that the pulsating with energy, reacting to something. I notice the idol at the back of the chambers. That's what it was. But why was the blade reacting to something like that? It doesn't look like a, any spirit idol I've ever seen. What is it? I feel a strong pull, almost like I have no choice but to approach it. Click the idol to walk towards it. Okay. I take a slow, heavy steps forward toward the idol, and I feel eyes upon me. Not just one or two pairs. It's almost like... All of Alestia is watching me. I can sense my comrades at my back, almost as if they were encouraging me. It helps me push forward, as I feel resistance emanate from the idol. Why would I feel such a strong pull to something that doesn't want me? I push through, in spite of that resistance, and I continue to act instinctually. Yes, fulfill your purpose. Do what you were meant to do. Okay. That's the triumvirate's voice. I remembered it from the last time I was here. But I have no idea what they mean by my purpose. Still, I can't des deny my instinct. And I keep pressing forward. It isn't much longer before I'm standing in front of the idol. It radiates pure malice and pure evil. It fills me with fright. I look down at my blade. Was I meant to destroy this? I'm confused as to why I'm doing what the Triumvirate tells me to. It's that conflict that causes this dream to end and jolt me awake. I, I rise up in fright, gripping my chest and panting heavily. I look over at the blade resting at my bedside. What happened? It feels as if no time passed at all, but it was already the next morning. Just, just what I needed. No rest before the massive battle. The fates were playing cruel tricks on me during this journey. But I had to keep going. I couldn't give in. I would, it would be over soon. I just realized something. I don't know if they mention it, but it's a huge spoiler for Act 5. Uh, maybe. I don't know if they did or not, but we're almost to Act 5, so we'll hold off on that. Uh, I just stand up and strap the blade to my back. As if on cue, 
I hear a knock at the door before it's opened. Draku steps in, not seeming to care if I was receptive of him. It's your turn, Monarch. Why? What's my turn? I didn't do nothing. Who's doing what now? My turn? We're transporting you to the Colosseum one by one. That way you're less inclined to try and escape us. You'll be the last one, so it's almost time to fight. Okay, do I get breakfast first? Because, like, that's the most important meal of the day. And who wants to fight on an empty the stomach, you know what I mean? Proud to Seems like a bad idea. Donation drive right oh, it's going to get Twitch spicy. Oh, never mind. Foundation. Maybe. If you want to support the stream in an awesome way it, and can afford it, check it, it all out. makes sense. To I'd learn more, not check out the link time, in chat at the LemurReserve.org. When you're ready, you'll be followed by myself and a few guards. Okay. That seems extreme. Oh, and good luck. You'll need it. The entire nation will be watching and cheering. But whether it's for your victory or demise remains to be seen. Okay. He rests his back against the wall and crosses his arms. This is really happening. A battle to decide the nation's fate. I guess I'd head to the Colosseum when I was ready to fight. I mean, that's just a theory, Liam. Some people say lunch is the most important meal of the day. Some people do say that. And I am not here to fight them. But I just feel like we should waste time before the fight because I'm just kind of put it off, you know? There's delay tactics. Oh, do I have books? I have to find a book. Excuse me, Draco, you don't mind if I read a book while I'm here, right? You don't care. You're not gonna you're not gonna be like, oh no, he's reading a book. These look comfortable, and unfortunately, I have no time to waste. I get to the Coliseum as soon as possible for the tournament. Okay. There's supposedly a book in here. That one. The book rests on the nightstand. It appears to be about the Colosseum battles. Not regular ones, though. The leadership ones. The kind of battle I'd be fighting in today. I wonder if it's placed here on purpose. We did play into Draku's hand, after all. The evolution of tournaments. The evolution Initially, of tournaments. rulers of Alorinthia were decided during a simple one-on-one -on -one battle. But citizens quickly realized that this was not the best way to gauge a potential ruler's true strength. They needed to add more. This is when the champion system came into play. Each fighter would elect a champion to fight by their side. This would not only test their offensive powers, but show how they handled defensive maneuvers as well. They'd have to fight their enemy and their enemy's champion while also protecting themselves and their champion. This made battles much better. Better catch up on reading before Later fighting, on, right? Reserve forces came in. Got to make play. sure I'm Each good and ready to go. A force of about twenty or thirty. A keen mind is a them. more this vengeful sure blade, they as they say. You know what I mean? Some people well. say that. But I don't know who says it, but some people say that. Death have evolved into a definitely someone sport. has said Leaders that in the must past. I would guess. To fight, to defend, and to command an army. This ensures that Alorinthia is always in the best possible hands. Only the most competent warriors can win. Mm-hmm. Sounds about right. I don't think there's... I'm going to look around the room. I'd go back to bed if it weren't so hot in this room. And I guess we also have a tournament to fight in. Okay, fine. I guess that's true. We probably have a, a battle to do. Anything else that I can do in here before uh, we run off to die, I guess? Uh, some say the book is mightier than the sword. If you throw a book at somebody, it does hurt. You're right. 100%. But, 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 let me do this real quick. I'm going to keep this one up, so I'm going to save here. All right. And then I think, guys, we're going to find out what happens in the big battle next time. Because I'm going to do that to you. I'm going to put the big cliffhanger ending here just because I can. And I'm a dick like that. But that's how it's going to go. But big thank you to everybody who stopped by today. I really appreciate it. It's good to see all of you. Hopefully you guys had a good time on this story with me today. And uh, hopefully my wonderful reading skills does not bore you to death. But we're going to go on the cliffhanger. We're going to be back tomorrow with Demon Otter Games and C. James Fox. And probably Minty Foe, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but we are might be playing some more played up or... We could be hunting some ghosts in Phasmophobia. I'm not 100% sure which one we're going to do. Come and find out, and then you'll know. That's the plan for now. I'm going to send you guys over to tonight. We're going to go see Dice Wolf. Play a little Go Fight Fantastic, which I'm not a familiar with that game, but it looks really cool. So give them the old leave that streams welcome. 
and I will see you guys the next time. And you guys have a wonderful time. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.